Action Works Entertainment is proud to present Sitting on a Tailgate Podcast with your host, DJ Big Country. Wednesday night right here sitting on a tailgate hanging with you here in Central Florida. I'm your host, Big Country. Milford's in the house. Hey. Tammy Sue's in the house. Hey, everybody. So, uh, what's been going on, guys? Anything exciting? Uh, I'm almost done with the doggone studio now. I'm recording studio. Got everything all electrical done, and lighting up and all that. Got some Picked painting. out a color today. Yep. And just got to do some trimming that to get the paint. Uh, we're picking out colors together now? Yes, we agreed on a color. Can you imagine that? It it's was neutral. Good. It's what? It was neutral. Next you'll be as- <laughs> next you'll be asking if it's a boy or a girl. I, don't know. Oh, oh. I ain't had a, I ain't had the baby yet. I'm gonna have to get another C-section for that yeah, one. Yeah, he looks like he's having her baby, but he's not. Damn. <laughs> I think she done cut you down, Milford. What's up with that? What do you mean? <laughs> Saying he's having a baby. She called you fat. Hey, he called him fat. I call my own self fat. Oh, well. He's See, I, I beat her to I the I always punch. look at him and I say, hey, when are you having our baby? Well, not no <laughs> time soon. Not unless it goes out the other end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, tonight's interview, we're going to be talking with Corey Jean and uh, Kelsey, uh, two sisters uh, with the group Mercy Stone. And um, they got a brand new single out called Speakers, um, I believe. Uh, it was actually done by Sam Hunt, but I believe, uh, I think Sam Hunt also wrote it. So uh, um, they, uh, uh, that's their latest single. Of course, of course we got a bunch of other uh, songs that uh, they have out that's been already uh, posted. And you can find their music on iTunes. And I believe, I want to say Spotify, I think. Not sure. Don't quote me on that, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, I heard briefly tonight on the news that they're going to start cracking down on nightclubs. They're going to shut them down before 2 a.m., from what I hear. 
So don't hold, don't quote me on that because uh, I don't know exactly um, who said what and where and when. But uh, that's I just I just caught the tail end of it uh, during the newscast. So, uh, but uh, that'll be something interesting to uh, to uh, hear and uh, see what happens with that. Um, hey, Steve Flores, you yeah, glad to meet you here in the room. Oh, yes. Welcome. Come into the chat room. If uh, you want to come and hang out with us here on Spreaker, come on into the chat room. Uh, just click the uh, follow button or the uh, like button there with the uh, heart and come on in and hang out with us um, as we uh, run in the chat room. Don't forget to uh, check out our website at WBCWRadio.com, uh, which is also a radio station that plays 24 hours a day. You can go there. And uh, also our top 20 countdown uh, it goes yeah. on until this Saturday at yes, 11 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, please get out there and vote. Yes, get out there and vote for the Top 20 Countdown. As many times as you can. Yep, as many times as you can. Um, we have already gotten 1,500 votes. Darn. <laughs> That's what happens when you make it unlimited voting. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and I'm still stuck at the bottom. Mm, well, how do you I know? think so. I think he is. Is he really? <laughs> I think he's like Must number. Be stuck I think he's like number four. Bottom. I think he's like number forty. Wow, are you? Serious? I don't know. I haven't looked. I haven't See, looked yet. He doesn't know for sure. But uh, yeah, make sure you go to the top twenty countdown. I'm down to number one hundred. Just go to. Um, well, you're putting yourself way down there, aren't you? Well, he can't go much lower because there's only 175 in there to vote <laughs> on. So <laughs> pretty bad. But uh, go to WBCWRadio.com. At the top of the page, click on the Top 20 Countdown link. Go click on that and find your artist that you want to vote. You'll see a bubble out to the left side. Highlight the bubble. Make sure you click at the bottom of the page where it says Vote to make your vote count. Now, it's a little bit different on iPhones and Androids because you won't see the bubble pop up on your phone. Just make sure you highlight the artist, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and click Vote to make your vote count. Milford. Tell yeah. us what's going on next month. Okay, next month here coming up pretty quick, about another two and a half weeks, I guess. I reckon I, I, in October, the Rowdy Johnson Band will be here on the seventh, eighth, and ninth here in Central Florida area. Uh, Rowdy Johnson will be coming down with it and be doing a show in Apopka. Actually, two shows in Apopka, which be the first show will be October seventh at the Apopka Elks Lodge on Old Dixie Highway. It is a benefit for cancer awareness. Uh, and it's a it is a uh, benefit for for people who has uh, cancer like breast cancer and all that. Just it's, it's just a cancer awareness uh, benefit concert. Uh, there'll be like a fifty fifty raffle there to, uh, going on. There's certain prizes, door prizes, and all that too. If you can come on out and make that and help show support for breast cancer awareness that night, show starts at eight p.m. All the Apopka big wigs are going to be there also. So uh, please come out and, and, and join that event and show your support for uh, cancer awareness. Also, too, Rowdy will, Rowdy will also have, along with me, uh, we're going to be at the Bat Ranch. I'll be opening up for uh, Rowdy Johnson and also representing WBCW, Florida's Country Radio Station. It is gates open at 6. It's on... Uh, can't remember the exact address, but it's on Plymouth Runner Road, northwest corner of Apopka. Uh, if, you would, if you take 441 north, you'll come to Plymouth Runner Road, and you turn right, go about a quarter mile, and on the right with a big bat. So if you come to south, it's the opposite direction. So it's BYOB, bring your own body, friends. No, it's bring and, your own bat. <laughs> which bat you want to bring all right <laughs> <laughs> you want a bat bag or a bag bag or a roll what bat mm-hmm. but it's byob uh kids under 12 are free ten dollars at the door show starts at eight o'clock uh come on out there and, and if you can't make the one on friday night in the park come on out at on saturday night on the 8th for eight o'clock uh and it's gonna be a there is a rowdy uh, rowdy johnson bash party uh, all rowdy for all, all the rowdy's friends are going to be there and family and the whole nine yards so come out and help support the that event also and on october 9th rowdy and i will also be here in sanford we will be here at wolfie's down here on lake moreau uh come out and join and join the fun here if you can't make the ones in the popka on the seventh and eighth come on out to uh wolfie's here wolfie's here on uh on Lake Moreau, show starts at eight o'clock. Uh, eight, about eight o'clock, eight thirty, somewhere around there. 
it's ten dollars at the door so if you can't make one you can make another or if you can make them all eighth and ninth and tenth uh and seventh eighth and ninth come on out and join the fun and all that and it'd be a, a rowdy good weekend with all rowdy's friends what'd you just move you moved something i just moved my phone i hear the buzzing i hear the you buzzing do. but too it's in that line somewhere down there I beside you no it's a buzzing in my cousin i don't know nope oh. oh. is that it that's it right there that's the or cord. no no it's something it's in it's in my laptop cord that's where it is really i hear it now it's gone now i don't hear it now well i do i hear something well, that's in you no it is not you're buzzing in your own head <laughs> <laughs> i didn't hear no buzz before so anyway i think she's got the silent vibrator on now since she's got a new phone oh yeah <laughs> So, anyways, come on out if you're around the Central Florida area. Uh, seventh, eighth, and ninth, Rowdy Johnson Band's going to be here in the Central Florida area, putting a hell of a rowdy good show and a rowdy good time. We're all rowdy friends. Come on out and make the shows, and we'll be glad to see you and have you. That's right. Also, for next month uh, here at WBCW, uh, we'll be out at uh, Daytona Beach at the Cabbage Patch for Bike Toberfest. We're out there every year, even during Bike Week. So uh, that'll be on. Um let me get the calendar out here. And it's October 2nd, ain't it? No. Bike Toberfest this year is the 13th through the 16th. So we'll be out there the 13th, 14th, and 15th of October out there at the Cabbage Patch in Sam Sula, Florida. It's just about a 10, 15-minute ride from uh, Daytona Beach uh, outskirts there. And then, uh, of course, uh, for uh, Mud Toberfest uh, out at uh, Wildwood uh, Off-Road Park and uh, off of US 301 in Wildwood, we'll be out there. Uh, possibly the seventh, eighth, and ninth, uh, which we're going to work on and see if we can't, uh, which we can't do to uh, work the tube between uh, that and uh, with um, the bat uh, ranch. Yeah, with the bat ranch too. So, uh, uh, but uh, yeah, we got all kind of stuff, and then, of course we got uh, Halloween coming up, and then uh, you got all them witches coming out. Oh, yep. <laughs> And then, uh, of course, we got another big event coming up uh, November 5th. Uh, it's an event out at Wildwood called Crawling for the Fallen. Uh, it's, uh, t- it's to raise money and uh, just have a good old weekend. Uh, it's for fallen officers, police officers. Um, they, oh, that'd be a good one. Yeah, they uh, put on this. Uh, Where is that at? It's at the P- Mud Park, Wildwood, oh. out there at, uh, at the uh, Mud Park. They This is the second annual, I think. Yeah, second annual uh, Crawling for the Fallen. So, uh, And then we got December. And then that's it. And then we start 2017. Oh, another day gum. <laughs> New Year's. It just seems like it was January the other day. Yeah, especially when the show the first time she get on the show. Right. <laughs> if you happen to uh, need uh, an EMC or a DJ for any holiday parties coming up, send us an email, actionworksmusic at gmail.com. Also, uh, we're looking for sponsors, uh, uh, promoters, advertisers. If you want to help the radio station promote your business or promote your whatever you're doing, uh, give us a shot. I promise you it's a lot cheaper than trying to post on FM radio, uh, and we will just plaster it everywhere for you so uh just give us a shout email us at actionworksmusic wallpaper yeah there you go and um we can sit and talk definitely so uh but uh check us out all right let's do this uh here real quick this is their brand new single called speakers this is mercy stone let's uh let's give this a a listen here real quick before they call in stand by we'll be back Kiss your neck and slowly whisper You breathe in cause it feels cold Where my lips were T-shirt for a pillow Music up a real low Creeping through the window I can feel the bass line The bed line in your heart of mine Trying to jump up out of your chest Baby you're not on fire Boy you're on fire Dark, wrapped up in the stars So right, boy, I'm so high You and me, wild and free Way out in the woods, nobody for miles Love in the back of the truck with the tailgate down Just us and the speakers on Love in the back of the truck with the tailgate down Just us and the speakers on Tracing those treetops 
drops across your face There's a feeling in your eyes Shadows can't erase The cool wind it found us It's breezing around us Following my fingers through your hair The engine is idling And boy this heat lightning It's flashing pictures of you And burning them in my head And I'm on fire oh Boy you're on fire Out in the dark Wrapped up in the stars So right Boy I'm so high You and me Wild and free Way out in the woods Nobody from miles Love in the back of the truck With the tailgate down Just us and the speakers on Love in the back of the truck With the tailgate down Just us and the speakers on Tuned in to you, something's on your mind, ain't it? Go on and tell me, baby, don't act like you can't say it I know your body language, you ain't gotta translate it So let it talk to me till I can't take it Your lips, your hair, your smile, your touch, your kiss, your stare Your vibe's too much, it. it lights me up, you got me set I'm way too gone, so baby Truck with the tailgate down, just us and the speakers on. Love in the back of the truck with the tailgate down, just us and the speakers on. WBCW Wednesday night, sitting on the tailgate, hanging with you right here. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. So, um, have you dropped your new phone yet? She's no. tried. No. <laughs> She's tried. Go. She's I, tried to. No. She's not trying okay. to. I've got to get a rubber on it. She. <laughs> she need, yeah, she needs a new. Somebody p- said that to me the other day. Yeah, she they needs said, a prophylactic on it. Listen, let me tell you something. Hey, it'll make it better. Let me tell you something. Somebody to me. Somebody said to me on the other day that they listen to the shows all the time, and they said everything that we talk about, you always step right into everything. I'm not stepping into it. You just did. You said, "Yeah, put a rubber on." Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Telling the God's honest truth, I told the guy, "Look, I need something rubber around this thing so it bounces if it hits the ground." You need. You should have said a rubber protective device. Okay, well I'm not that articulate. <laughs> you should have said I need a foam protector. Well, I wanted it to be rubber though. Yeah, I need a case or uh, a protective case. But no, no got, the, I, protective case is not good enough. I got one. It's got the the prophylactic. If it hits, it. yeah, that's what I want. The one that's got the the soft rubber so that if it does hit the ground it don't chip it or anything it kind of bounces you know well, my kind of hits the ground that's it well i don't want mine to oh hit you the know ground. what ashley told me last night what? you got the uh this is the uh 3g 3g the but, 4g been having problems with well it. ashley said last night that the, all the iphones had an upgrade that went to them and supposedly it was an s10 i but this is not an iphone this is an android right. yeah it's android <clears throat> well, supposedly Apple sent out an upgrade to all the i10s last night, uh-huh. or the uh, the uh, iPhones, uh-huh. and it locked up every <gasps> single oh my phone. Gosh. She said Good. she had to get on the laptop just to unlock the phone. She oh, had to I plug- heard about that. Yeah, she there. Ashley, see, Ashley's right there. Oh, I heard about. Yeah, that. she. Yep. Yeah, and Ashley said, yeah, she admitted. Yep. I love you, Tammy. But, uh, but yeah, you know. Tammy says, Ashley says, I love hey, you, Tammy, but hey, you girl, do. You, you even, ever st- think you even step in there. And- I just say it. Whatever. No. Yeah, whatever. No, no, no. Don't believe you that. You guys crap. are going to roll with it, and I have no idea how it's going to come out, but, you know, it turns so, out uh, fine. But yeah, other than that, it's a nice phone. But uh, yeah, I, I guess uh, supposedly, because uh, Ashley's phone did it last night, too, and just went nuts. But um, yeah. Hmm. No, I'm. You know, sometimes I do say things. I mean, but I know that <laughs> you step uh, right into <laughs> it helps the ratings. So what the heck? I know. 
Who cares? I still hear that buzzing, don't you? A little bit. All right, I'll turn Here's my tad. phone down. Nope, got worse. It's in my power cord. Okay. No, because we can get rid of it. I've know I've know we've gotten rid of it before, but I don't want. Yeah, it's in my power Cause cord. Because I, I know because I know it'll come over on the broadcasting too. Um. Move oh. that box. Move the power pack down this way a little bit. That's what I was working on. Keep on. Or talking. actually, take take all them wires and scoot them away from that power pack and see if that helps. Well, I, I still think it's in a microphone cable somewhere. I got it in my hand. You don't hear it now, do you? Uh uh-uh. uh Hold that right there for about three hours. <laughs> hey, okay. Hey, you got you, you got Some one of them tape, zip strips. Tape it on there. No. Tape? We'll have to figure something else out. Yeah, Ashley said she was aggravated with this damn update. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm getting used to it. Yeah, cause I, cause when she, when see what they did was when they did the update on her phone, it made her phone look like your phone, Tammy. It, it the way it's set up and everything. So now she's got to go back and get. She's got to go back. You got to quit pulling That's on that good. cord. I ain't trying to. I, I know actually, you're not I, trying to. I you just got a big head. Once you put that. I, 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 I accidentally, I accidentally <laughs> hit the cord. <laughs> Why don't you pull, put the put that? Cord I'll pull my head over. Put the, the cord <laughs> over on the other side of the laptop there. That way you don't pull it out. He said no. My cord's head. up here. I'm saying I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your headphones. I just turned my head around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like an owl. If your head goes 360, I'm going to shoot you right now and put you on my wall out there with the deer. <laughs> yeah, we're going to stuff you. Yeah, but um, yeah. So uh, Ashley, Ashley had to work. She had to learn her phone over and everything else too. So, so she was up to about five o'clock this morning. That's Ashley, Ashley, st- Ashley stays up all night. Do you know that's what Rachel and Drew does? That, what they are uh, Apple. Um, what do they call them? Uh, Apple geeks. <laughs> no, ITs. That's what they do. They're ITs or techs. Oh. So you call in anytime you got uh, Apple. I bet you I know where they work for. They probably work for a company called Convergis, which is right here out of Lake Mary. Well, they actually work in their houses. Yeah, but it's out of Convergis, I think, because I tried. I was going to do that at one time, but uh, I don't. I don't really feel like sitting and trying to answer people's I mean, questions. I mean, stays on it for hours, just straight. Because you can sit there and try to explain something to somebody that will only take two seconds to do, but if you got somebody that doesn't know the first thing about a computer, it's going to take you hours to yep. explain it. To Sometimes them. she's on. She says two, three hours with people. <sighs> I mean, that's just ridiculous. With their Apple phone. Let's throw another song in here real quick for the girls' call. Here's a little bit of Jeff Dane for you. Check it out right here. We'll be back. Yeah. They told me, go big or go home. But I can do both because I'm homegrown. I told them that I ain't crazy. Just wait and see. Ain't gonna break me This is the passion Bread of molten fire and whiskey Light up a shot, shots Another three and it hits me Light up a shot, shots Another three and you get me I'm going to the top Who the hell is coming with me? Hillbilly fire takes me a level higher Try to prove me wrong But you can't kill desire I know I have an attitude problem Forget Rocker, a boxer, 
If I go to splash of vodka, good looks, a song and a hook, but underneath I am a monster. Some people call me mean, I just call it being driven. I'm a train off the tracks, the way I make my living. This is the passion, bread and milk and fire and whiskey. Line up a shot, shots, another three and it hits me. Line up a shot, shots, another three and you get me. I'm going to the top, now who the hell is coming with me? WBCW Wednesday night sitting on the tailgate, hanging with you, waiting to talk to Mercy Stone tonight. Um, no, just to reiterate, martial law can only be established in cities, individual cities. It can't be established worldwide. So, oh, it can't? yeah, no, no. So can't. nation, nationwide. Nationwide. Oh, oh, uh, in other words, the federal government cannot come in and establish martial law. It has to be done in each individual cities and uh, state. Yeah, states. Okay, well, that's good to know, but still, I mean, it, that's the, been the said, that's, predicted well, plan that Obama's going to pull when the um, he knows that... The, but There's see, so much crap. There is so the much crap. The elections, I think, are going to be rigged anyway. They were rigged the last time, and I think they're going to be there rigged. There is so time. much crap that's going on, Facebook I don't, and everything. I don't it's believe... Just, it's, I don't believe he won ridiculous. fair and square. It's, it's ridiculous. Well, well, yeah, I mean, look look at his track record. I mean, he, I mean... I didn't know about him. Hell, I didn't even know Nobody. who he was. I know it. Obama even... wasn't up by a daggum he gopher. Was, yeah, he, he was, was a gopher. In, well, no, no. He was a senator, yeah. With him to win the second time around? Well, that that's was... what I'm saying. That's just... Oh, oh, telephone. 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 Ring a ding a ling a ling. Ding a ling a ling. Sitting on a tailgate with Big Country. You're live on the air. Who am I speaking with? Hi, this is Corey, Jean, and Kelsey from Mercy Stone. How are you? Oh, it hey, is the guys. girls! Yay! Hi! Hi, girls. So, uh, what's uh, kicking, chickens? Uh, you know how they say that in the South, but um, um, so what's going <laughs> on? Uh, uh, we got we got your new single. We've been playing your new single, uh, Speakers. Now, let me let me uh, thank you. let me ask you: Did did Sam Hunt? He wrote the song, right? Did he write the song? Yes, that's correct. He okay. was one of the writers on the song. Yeah, yeah. He was one of the writers. Yeah, because I think there was, what, three on there, yeah, right? Three yeah, three writers. Yeah, him and uh, two yeah. other people. Okay, so I'm looking at the picture. I'm guessing Cora Jean's the one with the darker hair, right? Um, No, that would actually be Kel. That's me. I have a little bit darker you hair than Cora Jean You got the little bit Oh, okay. And then, of course, Tammy, our other co-host, she's trying to figure out how old or how young you girls are. Oh, yes. Are. I was trying to figure out yes. how young you guys I, 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 said, I, I said I think you guys are like around, what, the early 20s, I think, right? I think about, about tw- mid-20s. Yeah, just about. So, Kelsey's speaking right now. I am 22 years old, and I this is Corey Jean, and I'm 26. Yeah, and you guys are originally from where? Austin, Texas. Austin! Dun, 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 dun. That's right! right. He's a huge fan in Texas. Let's, let's call him right now. Should we give him a call and wake him up? <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be great. Yeah. What up? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so let me, let me ask you girls a question. Do you guys get out to Nashville quite a bit, or do you do most of your recording and producing in Austin? In Austin. So we actually do most of our, actually all of our recording in Nashville, and uh, we have a really great producer here in Nashville that we really love, and everyone's been really good to us. We have kind of a great group of people here that support us and have really kind of helped push our career along. Now, what, um, let's see, we got, um, I got some of your, uh, um, I wouldn't say older songs, the ones that you've uh, cut here just here in the last year, but is, I guess, Speakers is the first on a new EP, or is it just a single that you guys have put out right now? Yeah, 
That's actually a single that we just happened to put out this summer. We actually, at Christmas time, did a cover of it on Instagram, and it was like a 30-second clip, and people really liked it and started requesting it, and so we decided to put a cover video together of it and and put it out just for fun because we had never done anything like that, and since our fans requested it, we decided we were going to grant some wishes. Now, how long have you guys been doing music? I'm, I'm guessing, I would say probably all your life. You probably grew up in the church singing in the choir, right? Yeah. <laughs> we did. We kind of, we grew up and have kind of been singing our whole life. Um, I think the only thing that's different is there's, there's a lot of musicians in Nashville, and they're like, oh, we've been, we've been writing songs our whole life and this and that. And one thing that Kelsey and I have not done our whole life is write songs. That's kind of been like a new a new thing for us that we've been trying out. We always co-wrote with other people, but we never took the opportunity to write just the two of us. And we actually sat down for the first time just a little over a year ago and decided to make the challenge to write the first EP that we ever wrote, just the two of us. And that's what we did. And um, much to our surprise, it's the album that has done the best for us. Just the two Great. of us. <laughs> now, you guys you guys are in Nashville now, right? Or you guys are living in yeah. Nashville, or are you staying in Austin? We're here, we're, um, we're here right now for work, and then we'll be in Dallas next week. Okay, okay, so you guys pretty much stay around in Texas. Who is, I would, who is one of your probably, I'd say, well, I guess I could say for both of you, who, are, who is your greatest influence as far as, um, music goes uh, as far as growing up and and singing music and writing music. Yeah, so I mean, this is Kel speaking, by the way. Sometimes it's hard for people to decide who's speaking over the I, phone. I, I, know or I know you guys. You guys are identical twins. It's hard to tell you apart. <laughs> but yeah, so this is Kel speaking. But anyways, to answer your question, um, Corey Jean and I actually grew up listening to Bon Jovi, The Eagles, Journey. Just because that's what my mom and dad loved to listen to. And so we grew up listening to that kind of music. And then obviously as we grew older, we kind of started listening to our own stuff. For me, I'm actually really into pop music. So I have a lot of pop influences when it comes to my singing. But Corey, obviously I love country music still, but Corey is a huge country music fan. And so it's kind of cool to be able to bring both aspects to mine and Corey's music, and especially to our songwriting. Now, um, both y'all play guitar, or how many? What? Uh, how many instruments do you guys play? So Corey, Jean, and I both play piano. We have been playing piano since we were younger, and then I actually just picked up guitar not even a year ago. And so I've learned guitar for Corey and I. So that way, it's now that we're kind of singing around in Nashville and everything, and being able to play out it a lot easier to haul around the guitar than a keyboard. Right. <laughs> and so that's the main reason why I took up guitar to practice. And so now most of the time I will, if it's just Corey and I playing acoustically, I'll just bring my guitar because obviously it's a lot easier. So, yeah, that's been a new venture over the past little bit over six months that I've kind of been working on. <laughs> Milford, I think I realize since everybody's learning to play the guitar, I probably should start learning to play mine. Yeah, I know. I, got, I know. I got a six string that sits in my. I got a six string that sits in my closet at the house, and I just never pick it up. I never take time to. Well, I just now and then you try. Every now and then. Yeah, I try. I got fat fingers. <laughs> I, 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 my fingers are too fat to fit around the neck. Yeah, see, I always try. I was trying to show him some chords and stuff, and he still can't figure out how to get his fingers on the neck there. And of course, when Milford tries to teach me, it's hard to understand him too because he's whistling through his. Missed his oh, his lost tooth. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Um, who have you guys played with in Nashville? As far as famous people go, we've actually had the opportunity to play for a lot of different people. Um, we played obviously the big festival, CMA Fest. We opened for Kenny Loggins at the Bluebird Cafe. We've opened for Little Texas. They sing God Bless Texas. Um, yes, I, really I, I know exactly who experience. Little Texas is. <laughs> yeah, I know it's exactly been a really incredible Kenny experience. Loggins is too. Yeah, being here and being able to just, like, be around people like that. When we first started um, just kind of getting our feet wet in Nashville, you just realize that there's so much talent, and it really makes you kind of up your game and realize that you're not the only one and that if you want to make it in this industry that you have to work really, really, really hard. And so the fact that we've had the opportunity to see people that have made it to that next level 
is always really inspiring and it makes you want to work harder. So we really enjoyed those opportunities. Now, what do you uh, what do you girls like to do? Now, do you do music full time now, or is this like a uh, your music is your passion? Because there's a lot of artists out there that does have day jobs. I mean, you guys like are like maybe you know selling selling uh, uh, Amway or something on the oh, computer during gosh. the day, <laughs> maybe or something like. that. <laughs> Uh, remember them We've days? Yeah, I, I was in them days. I, I was the first Avon distributor in my neighborhood. Thank you very much. I was fixing to and say that. And that was back in 19... No. That was back 1930. in 1992. 1930. <laughs> oh, no. But, that um, is amazing. <laughs> so you, you, guys do, to, you guys do stuff during the day? We, We've been very fortunate that we get to do this full time, and right now we've been traveling a whole bunch, and awesome. it's been... Um, it's been really good to us. We've only officially been a duo. Um, Kelsey and I each had independent solo careers before this, and we decided to come together as just a duo. This is over a year and a half ago, and the industry's been really inviting to us, and we definitely um, feel extremely blessed every day to be able to do this full-time and um, be able to have it be a hobby but also have it you know, be our main job and be able to do this all the time. What made you guys decide to come together now? I'm, I'm guessing, I'm just going to take a guess at this. I'm guessing it was probably because maybe you both went off to college and you went to Florida State. Did you go to Florida State? Yes, heck yeah. <laughs> you, you went to Florida State? Really? No, 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 no. Ah! I know, I know. They went I off actually, to uh, I actually was the first to kind of make the step to Nashville and I'm um, uh, I started coming to Nashville when I was 19. This is Corey Jean, by the way. Um, and Kelsey was, at the time, four years younger than I am, so she was just barely going to high school when I was coming to Nashville. And so I think a lot of it was just kind of the age difference between us. And then Kelsey graduated high school, and I was pursuing a solo career. And Kelsey actually played keys and did background vocals in my band. And we found that as we sang together, um, people liked us so much better together. We would sing like a song together and the audience liked us better. So we just decided that life by what people want. And I made the call to Kels and was like, hey, I think you need to, you know, quit college, every parent's dream. Um, <laughs> and uh, I was like, let's, I was like, let's do music. I was like, let's do it full time. And that's what we did. And We've just been really fortunate that it's worked out for us. So we we love doing it together. There's nobody else I'd rather do it with than with Kelsey. And it's great that we can be family but be sisters and be best friends throughout it and get to experience so many of these great opportunities together. Well, I I do have to say that you guys got great harmony together because – um, I would I would say this is just my opinion. I don't know about everybody else's, but I would say your best song that you guys harmonized on was uh, "Savior of the World." I think that was oh, probably that was probably the one of the best songs that I liked. That I think was the best harmony on it. I thank mean, you. It was, I mean, it was thank perfect. you. Perfect. And the video was good too. Yeah. I like the video. I think that yeah, you guys did a video for that one. Yeah, I like the you. video. "Savior too, of so. the World" actually has kind of an interesting story behind it. Um. We tried releasing that song for three, was it three, Chelsea? Three years. Three years in a row at Christmas time, we tried to release that song. And every Christmas, something would come up where, like, our producer couldn't finish it or we couldn't get in or somebody would get sick and, like, we could never finish it. And finally, last year, we were able to finish it and release it. So it was a long time coming. That song sat in our lap for a really long time, and then we finally released it last winter. Huh. Now, do you guys uh, you have any plans to do any um, uh, any Christmas music this year? This year, no, we don't. We actually um, we've been really busy in the studio cutting um, a new EP, and so we um, uh, have just been really preoccupied with that. Where this time last year, we already had another EP out. We were working on the Christmas song because we literally start working on Christmas in July usually. Um, just because the process is so long. So this year we've actually been in working on the album, and it's been really great. We're really excited for all the new music that we have coming out really soon. Yeah, I think uh, I think every artist, not just you guys, I think every artist starts about July to start cutting things for Christmas and doing their Christmas shows and stuff like that. What, um, yeah, exactly. 
What do you guys like to do for fun? I mean, uh, I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking a couple good looking gals like yourself living in Tennessee probably like to sit and tailgate on the back of the truck next to the fire pit out in the mud hole just hanging out with friends and just kicking back and playing some music. Is that does that sound like well, you know what? That sounds so nice, but you know what? Corey and I are so lame <laughs> that whenever that whenever we have free time to just do whatever We'd rather sit in our pajamas, sit on the couch and eat queso, and watch HGTV. Queso? And and watch what? Yeah. And then watch uh, HGTV. Oh, That's the go. Home and Garden yeah, Network. Yeah, the Home and Garden. Goodness gracious. <laughs> so, so they're going to become, funny. they're going to make, they're going to come rich and famous on their music and build their own house at the same time. That's right. Nothing wrong with that. I know that. We also really like to um, run and work out. So, like, we just came back actually right now from the gym. Chelsea and I ran five and a half miles tonight, so that's always fun. We ran our first half marathon earlier this year, so we're pretty cool. active. We like to be outside and hike and stuff like that. Um, and we just like to be with our family. I mean, we we spend a lot of time with our family going on trips. And you guys just came back from overseas, trips. didn't you? We did. We just came back from being overseas with our family, which was really great. We um, Chelsea is actually a twin, and her twin brother is going to school to be a dentist. Um, oh, and I need some dental work. We have not, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I we, know. We got, a, we got a redneck here in the crowd that needs some dental work. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so, so, we, so we you guys. We haven't seen him in six months. Right. So it was great to see him. Where did you guys go overseas? We were in we were with Hill. We were in Honduras and Cozumel and then an island called Costa Maya. Oh, cool. So uh well, I don't. Is, is they weren't really understood. I was going to say, is that is that's that Mexico? That's pretty much down south. I mean, is south that really America. considered? Yeah, that's pretty America. much. That's that's. Uh, yeah, it was great. It was fun. We actually usually end up in Florida. We usually um we spend a lot of time in Florida. We kind of grew up. We have family in Tampa and. We, in the summers, would spend time in Panama City and Destin. So it was really weird this year to not go to Florida because that's usually where we end up in the summer for our family trip. Well, you got my number, so next time you guys are here, call me. <laughs> and I'll come. Yeah, not really. I know. Well, that's why we're so excited to be talking to you. We just get to talk to people in Florida. We can pretend we're there. <laughs> you <can> pretend? <laughs> pretend there you go. Well, yeah, we can. Get you a picture of Florida and say, oh, we're there. We're <laughs> talking to somebody in Florida we need to. We need to see what we're trying to do. See, being the fact that this station is small, I mean, we're... We're small right now, but we think to be gigantic here in the next six months, I'm hoping. but uh, You guys um, are going to be amazing. I hope so. Oh, that's um, good. I, I also we think so, too. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm glad somebody's thinking that. I also DJ and host uh, Bike Week every year at uh, Daytona Beach. And, uh, I've, oh, my gosh. I've how been doing cool. that. I've been doing that for the last four years, and I'm trying to get all my artists to tr- – I'm trying to get them in there – down during it bike week so i'm thinking it's it's kind of it's 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 uh, somewhat kind of hard to do because everybody that's already been connected for the last 20 years down there has already got their band set up and they know who's going to be coming and yada 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 so i'm thinking i'm gonna have yeah. to, i'm gonna have to start my own country yeah that's what you should do that's what i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have a to start my own co- a country a country a country somewhere. bike week in daytona country oh, bike week holy. that's because because oh, well because nashville Bike week. Well, well, uh, well, no, I know that, but well, you can, but you got, it, it's got to be sometime because now they got the since they got the country five hundred at the Daytona Speedway now mm. every year they I started that. About that. Um, but uh, matter of fact, right now going on, I think it's this week. Is it Nashville's Bike Week going on right now over at Loretta Lynn's Ranch? Yeah, it starts this week. Yes, yeah, I believe so. Actually, I saw yeah, that. Yeah, it starts this week, but. Uh, yeah, so um, I, yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have. So if you guys got anybody in mind that's rich and famous, you know, since you guys are up there in Nashville, you know, you know, talk. To that's somebody. right. Kind of call on that's buddies right. of ours. Tell, we'll yeah, tell them to call me, and we'll we'll get we'll get it set up here. We'll have it right there on the beach. But um, so uh, what? Um, let's see. Who have you guys played famous with uh, here lately on stage? Recently, we've actually we've been in the, we've been in a studio, which has been crazy, um, crazy busy, and so we've not played as much as we usually would have around this time of year, um, just because we've been spending some really late nights in the studio. And we've been writing, so honestly, I kind of feel like we've been like we've been kind of a, a little cooped up, just because 
we've been writing and traveling for um, uh, just like other projects and things that we've been doing kind of, you know, between, you know, Nashville and Dallas. Right. You've been, yeah. In other words, you've been sitting around at the house in your pajamas eating queso. <laughs> and writing songs. And, yes. And, and songs writing songs about part. boys and friends and drama. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Every, see, that's that's what it is. Are, are, now, are you the type of girls that likes to write songs about their ex boyfriends or ex people that you know? Kind of like Taylor Swift. Definitely. Or, or you, oh, you guys do that, she really? Definitely. Oh, For man. sure. Why not? That's we write about what we stuff. know. Like we write about what we know, and you know, we it's it's kind of one of those things that, like, you know, some of them we don't. You know, I mean, like it's not every single one of them, but you can take something from every relationship you've been in, or every you know friendship, or whatever it is, different scenarios. Or we write about our friends' relationships. We right. actually had. One of our best friends, um, she kind of was, like, off and on with this guy. Like, they were friends for, like, 10 years. And then he, like, brought her roses. And then he went to the airport. And she chased after him in the airport. And they kissed in the airport just to, like, see if there was anything there after being friends for 10 years. And, like, it's just kind of like we wrote songs about that. We've written songs about ourselves. Just really anything. We just write about what we know and what we see. So that means the guys should start doing that then, too. Well, I've been doing that totally. once in a while. But, uh, I don't know. But see, guys get such a bad rap, though, because if we start writing about all relationships that we've had, we could probably write a novel or something like that, you know? I mean, that would be like, that would, that would be like a, that'd be like that a 50, that'd ways. be like a 50 song gold album or something like yeah, that. You know? uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. We, we, I would call it Big Country's Lifestyle. There, rich and yeah, famous. Big Country's Lifestyle. There you go. <laughs> but, uh, okay, um, well, let's see. Uh, Tammy, you got anything in particular you want to ask the girls? Well, our big question sometimes is if you could share a stage with somebody, anybody, uh, who would it be? I could share a stage. Who would it be with? Oh, like uh, the Eagles. Yeah, it would probably either be the Eagles. Oh, my God, that would be awesome. Yeah, or maybe Bon Jovi. Oh, <laughs> Bon Jovi. See, yeah. what, what cracks me up, though, is you girls aren't even old enough to remember well, Bon see, Jovi well, and Journey. Oh, I think Elvis. I want to be, I want to go on stage. No, but I really like Steve Perry from uh, uh, Journey. And so if I could share a stage with him. Oh, yeah. That would be amazing. That would be awesome. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I got a question. Who is your favorite yeah. female artist? In country music or just overall? Overall. Overall. Um, and can I lie? I love Carrie Underwood. I have loved her ever since she hit the stage on American Idol. Who? Carrie, Carrie Underwood. Underwood. Awesome, yeah. She, Carrie Underwood. She's, yeah, awesome. yep. she's got an amazing voice and all that. Uh, yes, I love her. Yeah, I also... Um, there is a new female artist that's out here in Nashville. Her name is Marin Morris, and she's from Dallas, and she's the sweetest girl, and Kelsey and I had the opportunity to meet her at a BMI event a few months ago, and I, I just think that she's great, and I think she's going to do really good things in Nashville, so we obviously love to support, um, you know, country artists and females, especially females and country artists, because I feel like um, it's, it's been a long time that there's been a lot of females within the country music industry. And so it's nice to be able to, you know, support people like Carrie Underwood and Ricky McBride. But then we also love to support um, the up-and-coming artists that are brand new. And we think Marin Morris is one to watch. Well, yeah, I, I've heard of her. And, um, of course, we got we also uh, here at the station has got a lot of – we have a lot of artists out of Texas. Um, Sawdust Road is out of Texas. Um uh, yes. Probably be working with uh, Neil McCoy. He lives in Longview, Texas. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah, that's amazing. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been in Longview McCoy. several times. Yeah, and Neil McCoy is a big Aggie fan. And um, Cow love Neil McCoy. Cowboy Troy, we talked to him just a couple weeks ago on the phone. He's out yeah. there in Texas. That's amazing. We just did an event um, with Cowboy Troy not that long ago. We were um, with Big and Rich. Yep. Oh, Big yep. and Rich is awesome. Well, John Rich is basically yeah. who got Cowboy Troy's career jumping because Cowboy yeah, Troy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, when Cowboy Troy did the song Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy with him on their video, that kind of kicked his career into overdrive. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. But, uh, yeah, so we, we got a lot of artists out there in Texas, and uh, 
And then, of course, we got uh, artists up in New Jersey that you would never think that. Uh, <laughs> That's the yeah. truth. It's like, how, yeah, it's like no. your country and you're from Jersey? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm Jersey. I'm country. <laughs> But um, so it's all good. Um, what? Uh, so uh, this is uh, shoot. This is already September. So you're still in the studio working on your EP. Um, when do you think it'll be done? Do you think it'll be done before the year, or probably first of next year? Oh, uh, it'll be done within the next probably couple weeks. So it's really exciting. We um, we finished that up this week and kind of next, and then we are in Dallas. Um, and we will be doing some things with some um, clothing lines in Dallas. We've got some photo shoots lined up next Wednesday and Thursday. Then we are in Salt Lake City, and then we are back in Dallas, and we're back in Nashville. So we're kind of like all over the place. Everybody's got all these sponsors, Milford. We got to start. We got to find somebody. Yeah, yeah. we got to find some sponsors. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask them. This is a public. This is a public announcement from WBCW <laughs> Radios. If you'd like to sponsor us, please send your money our way. <laughs> yeah, and start riding. <laughs> and ride your bicycle here too, because we just heard go. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. If you have to push, drive, or pull your car here to get to our right, station, even ride a bicycle. Yeah, even ride a bicycle too. So. <laughs> What, uh, so, uh, is uh, you guys do a lot of uh, interviews on different uh, stations? We do. We um, we've had the opportunity to talk to a lot of great people, and it's one of our favorite things to do. We love talking with people and getting to know other people in the industry. And um, country music is so driven by radio, and so it's you know it's one of our one of our actually most favorite things to do. So we really appreciate y'all having us on today and taking the time with us. It, it means a lot. It's really important to us as artists. I hear the ankle biters in the background. The, no. the, the dog's barking. <laughs> so uh, tell everybody then uh, where uh, where to get your music at uh, and uh, all your social media sites and the whole nine yards. Yeah, so I mean, you guys can look us up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. It's uh, at Mercy Stone, M E R S I. T-O-N-E. And then you can go find our music anywhere where digital download is available. So obviously iTunes, Amazon, that kind of stuff, I guess. So yeah, go look us up, follow us, send us a message, and we can say hi, and that would be awesome. Now, do you have anything going on right now here the next week or two, or are you just pretty much in the studio until you're done? We are, um, uh, we're in Nashville right now, finishing everything up, and then we leave next Tuesday for Dallas. Okay, so then you go back And then we'll be back in Dallas, which will be amazing yeah, for work. Do the big and that's big where big we guys. have our photo shoots in the Salt Lake. Where, uh, and then tell, back to Dallas. Tell everybody where you're going to be at in Dallas. There you go. Um, in Dallas, we actually, we're playing a show in Dallas. We're still kind of firming up the details, so everybody check out our website, uh, www.mercystone.com. Oh, it's, 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 it's one of them hush-hush. Yeah. It's, must be Billy Bob's. It's, uh, it's or, one of, or, the sto- <laughs> or the stockyard. Or the stockyard. I, I say it's Billy Bob's. I bet you're going to be playing at Billy Bob's. Billy Bob's is a cool place. but yeah, um, So is the stockyard. I know. But I, I think it's hush-hush. That's why they're not saying anything. Because ah. might be some big artist, big big um, country music star might show up. That's yeah. why they ain't saying anything. Oh, uh, so. sure. <laughs> it's going to be it's gonna be a fun show, so we're excited. So stay tuned for the details because it'll be happening. We'll be playing on September 27th. Cool. All right. Well, um... I appreciate you guys uh, calling in and talking with us. Make sure you go check out their music. Uh, you can get it at iTunes, Amazon. Instagrits. Uh, Instagrits. Yeah, all that stuff. Uh, make sure you hit up uh, them on Facebook. And uh, their EP, new EP, should be coming out uh, here probably in the next, uh, uh, at least by the end of the year. Uh, and then you can catch them in, uh, in, in Texas. And uh, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, Dallas Cowboys used to be all right back in the day when uh, uh, Emmett Smith played, but uh, that Dorsett uh, and to- well, that Tony Dorsett. That's like that was back in the seventies. Yeah, no. <laughs> so I still like him. Shh, I'm only twenty one. Quit telling everybody I'm old. Um, yeah, he's oh, born yeah, nineteen twenty four. Right. I'm young. <laughs> I'm not old. But uh, girls, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And you have my number. If you need anything, don't hesitate to call. Oh, also make sure you go vote for the girls on the top 20 countdown. 
Um, the voting will end this Saturday uh, at 11 p.m. Eastern. Um, we'll get them to, if they get to the number one spot, um, they'll be uh, added to the final countdown at the end of the year for the uh, the 2016 all-time uh, all-time single for uh, you'll have 20 different artists that you'll go up against at the end of the year and then whoever comes in the first will be named uh, top artist for 2016 so uh, yes unlimited voting right? unlimited. Oh, amazing. Yes, thank you so much we appreciate it so much thank you guys for having us today we, it you, really means a lot for us and if you don't win this week that's fine but keep telling your fans to vote because until you make number one you're always going to be in the top 20 countdown uh, so make sure uh, everybody keeps voting for you but uh, yeah tell them to uh, vote go to wbcwradio.com thank you very much girls for talking thank you have a good thank night you so and like I said don't, you. if you need anything if you need anything don't hesitate to call me okay and my adverse that you guys were to find us thank you alrighty thanks girls bye we'll talk to you later thanks bye 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 Mercy Stone, and here is their song. Mercy me. (laughs) Here's their song that I was talking about. It's called Savior of the World. Check it out right here. A silent night And a starry sky A child of hope and love Angels came, the heavens sang, behold him, behold him, the Savior of the world is born today, hallelujah, the Savior WBCW Wednesday nights 
Sitting on a tailgate. That's uh, Mercy Stone. Savior of the World. That's one of their original songs that uh, that um, they did. Uh, let's see. It's been probably a year or so ago, but that was one of the original ones that uh, that uh, we had here at uh, WBCW that we played. And um, um, yeah, so uh, what's this nonsense that you were saying on <laughs> on Facebook? Tammy mentioned something about they said that they found Hillary Clinton dead. Oh, yeah. There's a posting here. It says ABC News. I think it's ABC News said. I don't believe that. I'm going to have to go. Well, it says it on Facebook. I know, but I'm going to have to Google that. Google. If you Google, if you type that in when you Google it. I mean, you can't believe everything on Facebook. Right. I know. That's what I'm saying. Somebody posted it. Uh, Just like Blake uh, Shelton got arrested down under smuggling drugs. Oh, gosh, really? <laughs> he might get a smuggle on so the beer. So I just <laughs> pulled it up, and then we were talking, so I figured I'd say something because I thought it was crazy. How do you spell Hillary? Hillary. H-I-L-L-A-R-Y. There's two L's? Okay. Yeah. Hillary Clinton found dead. <laughs> And Phil said it, it's if I can a go hoax. To it. I know it's a hoax. I'm sure it is. Well, somebody we said, see, you can't really believe well, it. Well, I don't know. This uh, said, uh, yeah, Ashley said, said ABC. Listen to this, though. What? Whoever's doing it is, I mean, it's got the whole damn internet locked up. Here's a posting. Another Clinton associate found dead. Bill, oh, okay. No, no, no. These are the ones. Okay, I got this. The ones that are dead. Yeah. A top official scheduled to testify against Hillary. Uh, breaking prominent anti-Hillary Clinton researcher found dead. Yeah, so, yeah. Everybody else is dying except for Hillary. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, that are, is true, Phil. But yeah, it's is. true. These are all people. All these people that they've been finding has worked for Hillary or Bill at some point, and uh, just here when they've been in the White House or whatever. Phil would tell you that. Phil's Phil's our Phil's our local guru on um, on uh, politics. Yep. And Phil, Ash, no, Ash Phil is, knows all that. Ashley says I've read several links. That says she's in a hospital, and 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 the lady was supposedly at the nine eleven thing was a body double. Yeah, I seen that one too. Real, I, I, I heard that. I saw about the body double crap. In I the, didn't hear anything. I, I was on a tractor all day yesterday. Yeah, but uh, it's all it's all junk garbage. It's all garbage. Um, yep, garbage that they're all excited um, over. Um, 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 um. Um, what, what you going to crank? Um, 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 I don't um, know. Pretend <laughs> <laughs> motorcycles? Sure. Um, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 I don't know. That's T- about, that's about like talk that. about something, Tammy. <laughs> I'm, tra- I'm looking up something here real quick because I want to see. Well, let's see. Let's get... Um, I mean, you got my laptop in front of you, so there's got to be stuff that you're looking up, or unless you're just on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you know that explains you, it right there. How do you yeah, it all up comes with that, out. The ABC thing. She was on the phone until three o'clock this morning. I was because not. It she was got a brand because she got a brand new phone since uh, she finally got her new one in um, well two o'clock. Yeah. Hey but Ashley, what you what what good news did you receive? Was she talking about her school? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Have you ever told them the good news I received yesterday? Yeah. About, uh, you mean yesterday? Yesterday was Tuesday. You're talking about your school where you made, she made the president's list. Yay. Now she's very presidential. That's the only one I can think of the good news that she was talking about. Yeah. Other than the fact that they got her truck fixed. That's always yeah. a good thing. Hey, uh, that's two good things that she ne- can. You can hey, tell Ashley, you. Milford needs to borrow a truck. Can you bring it down? <laughs> no, they said they're going to fix it tom- tomorrow, right? They're so going to they give me the money to get it fixed. Yeah, they said they're going to give them the money to get it fixed. Give who the money? Me. Yeah, to Who's get the- giving you money? <laughs> Jamie. To get the truck fixed, although it's he's just going to tell them about the part. You really literally need to get it fixed. Jamie who? My boss. His boss. Because he told him. Oh, I yeah. see how you played that. Yeah, because he wants you down in Ocala. Mm-hmm. Up in Ocala. Or up in Ocala. Mm. Yep. Well, that might work to your, that might work to your advantage. Just keep telling him every day that something's wrong with your truck. <laughs> you might have a brand new truck before it's all said and done. <laughs> no, I just want mine fixed. <clears throat> I'm 
So, um, so Greg, yes, BC, yeah. yes. Yeah, I'm. Uh, that's me, Phil. Yeah, I don't think Phil's ever known my first name. Um, as first. Oh, as and last, sometimes as Ashley as calls me Fluffy too. When she starts calling me Fluffy, don't pay no attention to her. Well, so does uh, Milford. He calls you Fluffy. Well, yeah, but Ashley actually started it. Well, we and never she knew told that me Ashley. to make sure. I never knew. And Ashley told me to make sure to Fluffy tell you too. that point blank that she started the name Fluffy. Yeah, but he never you. knew about I never about knew that, about Ashley. He called, you, he called fluffy. you Fluffy. I uh-huh. called you Fluffy before I knew yeah, Ashley. Yeah, before you we ever knew Ashley, he was calling you Fluffy. Yeah. So I think Fluffy should stick. Yeah, it's like you spell it. She calls me Fluffy. You, all the time. You, there she do. It's can you smell it? <laughs> I don't want to smell nothing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, hey, this is chicken. Can you smell it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you? Uh, so um, that from here. Let's do this real quick. Well, um, Gabriel Glaces. Okay. Mr. Fluffy himself. Um, okay, I've added. Right. Uh, let's see. Just let everybody know we've added new music on the radio station. We've added. Uh, let's see. Who did we add yesterday? I got a couple more. I got to add back. Uh, to uh, Siobhan, our uh, girl over in New Zealand. She's got a brand new single out, and we got to add that to the station yet. But we added. Um, um, Ashley, I know. I know. We I know. Added, I'm trying to think. We, we added uh, uh, an artist named Whisper Whitlock. She's a real good singer. We added uh, a new song from uh, Deborah Delane. Uh, she's got a new single out. We've also added. Uh, Brand new single from Sammy, and uh, it sounds real good. It's actually real good, so you need to go check it out and listen to it. And um, what's the name of it? You remember? Uh, One from Sammy. Oh hell. That's all right. I have to look up in a minute. You'll have to and then there was there was a fourth on. one. We added a fourth one too, but I can't remember who it was now. Damn. Oh, I can find out here. I can tell you real quick. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Mm-hmm. I don't even have to look it up. I can just pop this tab <gasps> right here. What was that? I can His frog. Up. He come up. He is a frog that comes out every. It so sounded long. like a f- horse kicked you. No, <laughs> it sounded like a bullfrog. <laughs> I think I think it was a horse that kicked you. That's what. It was. Um, okay, so let's see here. Who, who well, do we add? Been walking around, um, sounding like a horse all day. Right, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, we added Shelby's new single, "Missing You Like This." Which is what we're going to play here in about two seconds. And then we added Whisper Whitlock. Uh, it's called Breaking Hearts and Curfews. Deborah Delane's new song, I Like My Cowboys Dirty. And Uh-oh. Sammy, the name of the song is called Strength in Numbers. So, oh, she, uh, Tammy lost her clean. <laughs> well, then what happened here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? My dirty cowboy. Uh, yeah, I know, Scruffy. No, you, you're just a dirty old boy. I'm a dirty white they, call you, they call him a dirty foot. We <laughs> call him a what? Dirty foot. A dirty foot. <laughs> Jeez. He's my dirty foot cowboy. I want. She said I want her cat, granddaddy and walk away. <laughs> That's me. I'm putting it in my. I don't know if I'd be calling you dirty foot. Who? You could, yeah, you're calling him dirty foot. Yeah, right? I'm calling him dirty foot. Hmm. That just don't sound right. Well, I'm, hey, Ashley, to that question, what you just said, you, you called him Fluffy before we even know him. I knew him probably about as long as you have. Yeah, because I, yeah, cause when I was down there in Winter Haven doing McGillicuddy's is about the time that we ran into each other at the barn. Yeah. So, yeah. It's yeah. About, about, about the same time. About the same time. So. Nah. Oh, uh, we have to play. Okay, we got to yes, play this one. Yes, we do. We got to play this one because um, um, I got permission from Scott. It's his Uptown Country yeah. mix. So um, we're going to play it. And Is that it's, his new one? Yeah, it actually sounds pretty good. Since What's I told the name him of it? That, it's called the Uptown Country mix. Have, we haven't heard it yet then. It's, no, like, it's, like, it's like the, what we, he kind of sent us to earlier what, after he left. I like the uptown funk, but it's not really the uptown funk. Yeah, it's it's what he was playing. I'll play it for you, but uh, he he went ahead and I guess he got permission to do it, so uh, uh, he did it, and uh, it actually sounds pretty good. Uh, he so, done gone. Uh, well, because they asked my he asked me what I thought about it, and I told him I liked it. I said, what you need to do is you need to bump it up um, a little bit to um, um, get it to uh, like uh, for a line dance for a line like a line stepping. Uh, song. So, um, yeah, let me, uh, we'll get this. 
set up here and loaded and whatnot. Oh, uh, he's fixing to Phil. I'm fixing. What's he complaining about? He said, "Play the damn music." Oh my God, Phil! <laughs> you he's, relax. He's slow as dirt. He, need, ain't he? <laughs> he just needs to calm his jets. And Ashley he ain't been. Ashley, he ain't been in our show in how long? And he's already pitching uh, a fit. Yeah, hundred years. You hey, know, he's got to give you a hard time. You know, everybody else is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Ashley says, "Speed up a little bit. I want to make a great line dance." And would make. <laughs> What say what? And it would make a great line dance. She says. I'm sure it would. It, uh, I think it would. I really do. I think it'd make an excellent line dance song. Ah, uh-huh. she's already heard it. No, she hasn't. No, she ain't heard nothing yet. No, I'm saying, I'm saying the song itself. I think would make a great oh. line dance song. Ashley don't. thinks she probably met you if you've been in. I don't no. know. Cause, no, because no, Milford ain't never been. I ain't never, he ain't never been down to Winter Haven. No, I have, but I was driving a truck. Yeah, but he, yeah, he hasn't been down there for. I haven't gone whatever. down there to party or anything like that. So that's yeah. no, we never met. No, I was working. Negatory. Negatory. I stayed working. Negatory. Um, what are we gonna do here? Um, you said you're gonna play a song. I'm getting there. I gotta figure out eventually. What I'm here, there we go. Okay, <laughs> click. Hi. Hang tight. I'm hanging on. Um, I'm hanging ten. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's about like that motorcycle, female motorcycle out there. And you're sitting there idling, saying nag, 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 yeah, Walter on uh, Jeff <laughs> Dunham. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like Walter. Yeah. Walter's a trip. I swear if these jerks don't stop running this foil over down, I'm going to... What? My screen went blank. Oh, no. oh there it is. Hey, how I see you? <laughs> what are you complaining about? <laughs> <laughs> She's complaining about the foiler... We yeah. had one right outside our window here, right as the show started, too. Yeah, that's. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who those yahoos are. Yahoo! All right, here. There, here's the new mix. Here's the new mix that Scott Brandt went and did with his buddies. Um, a Dawn and Dunny. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's, a re- it's a remix of the song Uptown Funk from Bruno Mars. But there's more. T- uh, this don't have all the hip hop and the fancy boom bomb and stuff like that. This has got all the the uh, the uh, hillbillies, banjos, and the twang and the picking and everything else in it. So check it out and tell me what you think. So Phil, he, he's your own, your old grumpy uncle, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Phil, pipe down. Listen it to the song. Gimpy old uncle. <laughs> we'll be back in just yeah, a minute. Ain't grumpy. <laughs> be back in a minute. Hang tight. Yeah. He's good. Cold Michelle Fire for that white gold. This one's for them hood girls, them good girls, straight masterpiece. Styling, wildin', living it up in the city. Got a chucks on with Saint Laurent. Gotta kiss myself so pretty. I'm too high, hot damn. Call the police for the fireman. I'm too high, hot damn. Make a drag go on a retire. Just watch, come on. Saturday. 
WBCW Wednesday night. That's a brand new from Scott Branton family. That was a good song. I like yeah, that. I, Scott, I, I, I won't say family. I think clan's a better word for it. <laughs> so, uh, Phil, what's this rice? What is it? What would Phil say? Rye what? Rye shot. What's a rye what's shot? What's a rye shot? It's something to funk you up. <laughs> funk you up. Yeah, that's it's probably, yeah, it probably is. Is that like some kind of moonshine? That's whiskey. From Canada? What is a rye shot? Um, rye shot is like a whiskey. That's the only thing I'm thinking of because, yeah, well, no, not, well, probably. Moonshine, because mo- moonshine's made with rye. That's yeah. what I thought. That's why I said moonshine. Yeah. So it's got to be some Canadian. Tammy should know this because she Canadian drank all my moonshine. damn moonshine. That's the first time I ever drank moonshine. Whatever. Right here. It is. I swear to God. I've <laughs> never, Phil's, ever yeah, drank Phil it. said he don't know. Yeah, yeah, Phil yeah. said he don't know. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I asked JP. JP's the one who did the rye whiskey, isn't he? Do yeah. what? Yeah. JP said he took a rye shot. and I told you it was rye whiskey. Oh, rye whiskey. Yeah, I've heard of rye whiskey, but yeah. I didn't know what he meant by rye shot. I thought maybe well, it was something. I, 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 thought, it was, uh, I thought maybe it was something different. Yeah, it actually says she loved the song. I'm going to read it and speed it up for a little bit for line dance. Yeah. Power jam or push tush would work great for that one. Push tush? <laughs> That's the name of a line dance. Is it every, really? Yeah, every every club is different. Whatever, no matter where you go, every club's got different songs, different ways they dance to songs and crap like okay, that. Okay, Phil says moonshine is corn. Yeah, but don't they use yeah, rye? I in it? They no, they too. don't. It's all corn whiskey. You sure? Yes, corn. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, corn. Yeah, yeah, corn. Yep. So corn is the base of the of the moonshine. Oh, yeah, I yeah thought... whiskey whiskey is used with rye. Okay. Making whiskey and rye. Ashley, don't make faces when she's taking shots. That's because normally by the time you start taking shots, you're already too drunk to even fill your face. <laughs> 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 that's funny. And she, Yeah, well, that's the way it used to be back in the day. Uh, yeah. You are a signature line signature dancer. Signature line dancer. Good, yeah, you can teach Sammy how to do it. I don't she was back in the dance. heyday, but now she can't even get out of bed to move. Who? Ashley. I don't want a line dance. <gasps> I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. I bet you had a My Little Pony growing up too, didn't you? No, I never At had the nothing. age of 25. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't that. It was My Little Pony, but it wasn't that. <laughs> it wasn't pink, I can tell you that. Oh, it was purple. It wasn't it was purple. purple either. Or pink polka dogs. No. You probably did. You probably had a horse and probably tried to... It was probably all of... You probably 21. tried to dye your horse's mane purple, too, didn't you? Your, you your did. It's, see, she's not denying it. Your imagination is way out there. She's not At denying 25, it. At 25, my what? little ponies were about 21 to 23. Do what? <laughs> That's how many she had. No, it ain't. My little ponies. That's how old they were. Uh-uh. Yeah. My Little Ponies only came out in the late, late 80s. She's little talking little about a real okay, darn horse. Oh, 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 I got you. I got Damn. you. See, I even knew what she was saying. Well, she just needs to say that she's got a Shetland pony. Okay. That she rides all the no, time. No, she had a, had a miniature horse. A miniature horse. Uh, boom, boom. <laughs> a boom, boom horse? What's a boom, boom horse? No, Phil saying about boom, boom. <laughs> oh. Oh, whatever. I, 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 I feel, we should feel special tonight because Phil, Phil said today that this is the first time that he has been up this late. And he said he figured he just might as well come on in and listen to the show because we're normally special. he's in bed at 5 o'clock. Oh, you we special. I know, right? We feel special. We feel special. Who's special? We are. We're special? Yeah, because Phil's staying up. 
Because we got Phil in the house tonight. Yeah, That's Phil's why. in the house. I thought it's pretty cool. You think? Yeah, yeah we think. think. We used to have Phil here all the time. I know. We miss you, Phil. Yeah. That's because people have lives unlike us. They I got to, they word. Have to work. <laughs> I got a word. Yep, I got a life. We well, got our life, you, you know. You got a life? When did this happen? I don't know. <laughs> be honest with you. Here's a lady that we're going to brag about. I can tell you that. Here's a lady well, we're going to be interviewing that, next Wednesday uh, here on uh, Sit on Tailgate. This is Shelby Kimball. Um, you got a uh, job. Good gravy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Phil's got a job. About damn time, Phil. <laughs> hey, be quiet. I'm trying to play a song. Here's Shelby Kimball. This is called Missing You Like This. We're going to be interviewing her next yeah, week. We'll right be here. Missing Phil, too. I, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be interviewing her next Wednesday here on uh, Sitting on Tailgate. So a shadow of you move across the wall Called your name, no response at all My lips, they long to taste your kiss When I get to missing you like this It's so cold in here, I can barely breathe And my heart breaks with each heartbeat It's all I can do to just exist When I get to missing you like this Oh, when I get to missing you WBCW, brand new one from Shelby Kimball, Missing You Like This. We're going to be interviewing her next Wednesday. I like that song. Right here on the show. Yep. Of course, I can uh, relate. You like just about anything that's slow. No, I don't. I don't like <laughs> slow music, actually, but it's got to say something and have a message, and I think it's got to go. It's gotta, well, I'm sure it's got to say something because they got to sing it. No, I'm saying it's got to. <laughs> it's got to have words in it. <laughs> it's got to mean something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? It, it's got to mean something. Like, it's got to, what it says, it's got to, you got to feel it. <laughs> One of these days, Tammy. What? Know. One of these days about what? One of these days, Alice. Right to the moon. Zap away. <laughs> I don't think so. I ain't going Now nowhere. you're going way back. I know. He's like in ancient times tonight. But he went in a time Do you bubble. even know what, they, what movie that was from or what TV show? That was an actual TV show. No. 
You should know that because that uh, was dur- that was during your time. Hello, I didn't watch TV hello. like you guys. Katie, <laughs> 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 Shut up, Shut up. <laughs> One more time, Ash. Straight to the moon. <laughs> You're going to go straight to the moon. Okay, Norbert. What the hell? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yeah, I don't know. It's a TV show. All right, well, I don't know. It's called the Honeymooners. The Honeymooners, yep. Oh, Jackie Gleason? Jackie Gleason. Yes. Hey, she got it. Oh, I love Give Jackie her a clap. Gleason. Stop it. Hold on. I'll give her a clap. All right, I need the applause. <laughs> we gotta find another name for a rectal. <laughs> give it a rectal. Hey Ashley, what's uh, isn't it? What? A honeymooners, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Is that Jewish for isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? She no, just ran it all together. Huh? No, that's that's Tennessee slang right there. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. That for her, that's probably Tennessee slang being the fact that she's trying to type and Just she's two probably words together. she's probably coughing at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you honeymooners. Uh, bourbon, Canadian whiskey, Captain Morgan, tequila, gin, scotch, whiskey. Holy crap. What the uh, hell? Dog on, Phil. What have you been drinking think, tonight? <laughs> yeah. Do we need to set up an AA? Uh, he says. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gather chairs around. We've got to have an AA meeting. Yeah, we've got to have an AA meeting. Yeah, we've got to have an AA meeting. Gotta have an AA meeting hey, for you. AA's for quitters. <laughs> I, I've been to AA. Um, I know all about it. Hello. Yeah. Hello. You're That's new. my whole deal, too, Miss Ashley. When I do my one word ho or how. <laughs> You ain't got no excuse to talk because your finger is about the size of a pencil. Yeah, but your keyboard. Hey. The keyboard is as hey. small as you. Well, huh? it's tiny. It's like, ugh, I feel like a munchkin over here trying she to. She feels to like a praying menace. Yeah, praying menace over here trying to type on your little tiny freaking Whatever. laptop. Whatever. Yeah, I do believe that it is all in a stick. That all in stick? What the hell does that mean? Oh, in stock, okay. In stock? Oh. Your stick and your stock is all messed up. <laughs> you're stocking your sticks? Are you? <laughs> are, are, is that what Quit that stick in your stick in the stocking. I, I'm thinking he's having a few shots too many. <laughs> <laughs> you started it. <laughs> uh, no, he didn't. Phil did. Is that why you're wearing stockings? <laughs> I'm not. Oh! She's wearing fishnets. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Those are stockings. If I was wearing that, that, that's not much of a stocking. <laughs> <laughs> it's just string going up your leg. No, no, no. No, it's several fishnets strings. Look like a, it looks like a regular fishnet. Yeah, it looks like oh, a fishnet. So with a hole in the center. <laughs> so, so we can just go ahead and take her fishnet. So go to St. John's. No, and we it just, out, right? we, yeah, we just need to throw her in the, in the ocean and see oh. if we can't go crabbing with her. She'll catch the crabs. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Something big might eat me. <laughs> Something might eat you. <laughs> Something bigger than me. <laughs> Maybe she'll be down there and see, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, oh, Phil says he's using his phone. What's the... Uh, for his... Quit abusing your phone, Phil. Stick stock or whatever. Um, what's that little fish that's uh, Nemo? Maybe oh, she'll be down there finding find Nemo. Nemo. Yeah. Oh, don't be picking on Nemo. I have a Nemo in my pool. <laughs> I do. Jeez. I have a ceramic tile Nemo, remember? In my pool. Oh, so so you like so your finger would did your phone would did like a NASCAR said, Oh, hey, look, I love look NASCAR turn. Phil. A little of her. Oh, they crashed. <laughs> yeah. NASCAR's awesome. I love any kind of racing. No. Yeah. No. That I was thinking about it on the way over here. Yep, she was thinking about it on the way over here. How come she don't drive faster? No, how come I haven't been uh, to You a know what? She scared the crap time. out of me coming over here. <laughs> she do a hundred mile an hour, hit the brake. Hey, I was trying to get here so that he wouldn't complain, but we got here ten minutes it's late. It's because you guys don't leave early enough. <laughs> you guys both are home Listen, all day on Wednesday. He had to and stop you and wait get until his five drink. minutes until you got to be here to leave. He had to stop and get his drink at Circle K. It's his nah. normal pattern. He cannot go past Circle Where's K. I got my jug next to me. Unless I got my I got stops. my keg with me. I get a keg and my keg and some Copenhagen. 
You got the cake in the car, don't you? No, my cake in the car. I don't know about that big cake, but I got this cake. And uh, I had to make some dinner, and we had to eat, so. Yeah, tuna fish. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all's been eating on the same damn can of tuna fish for the last month. You're damn right. We're gonna I keep still ain't. Hey. I, I, <laughs> why don't you just be like every other poor person and go down to the food bank? Hey, Hell well, no. I, I you mean, don't no. To I rather try. To, I like the tuna fish because I always try to figure out how to tune it just right. <laughs> You're like the damn horse that's probably out in the middle of your yard regurgitating it and eating it for next week. No, that's cows. Well, same hey, thing. Hey, we eat tuna at least once or twice a week. That's the way it goes. I mean, it was a decision. Maybe Either you noodles and sauce hours. or tuna fish sandwiches, and we all agreed tuna fish sandwiches. Why don't you mix? Oh, my God. Here's a concept. Okay. Since you don't know how to cook, I'm telling you. Why don't oh, you I take, know how to cook. No, What's you don't. wrong with you? Why don't you take the You're tuna? You're not a visual one of me, yet. Why don't you take the huh? tuna? Why don't you take the tuna and the noodles and put them together? Oh, my God. What a well, freaking no nightmare. Way. I was going to make tuna casserole tonight, okay. and I make it really good, but it cost too much, so I couldn't do it. What do you mean it cost too much? What all you need? Okay. The bottom line is that what I just said. I saw your list, much. Ash. What all do you need? What list of all that whiskey and alcohol she's going to drink? No. All you need is how many cans of tuna? Like two cans? No, not the way I make it. Well, then that's because you live in a Barbie world. No, it's because that's the way I learned how to make it, and I make it really good. Okay, we'll cut it down in half. I can't. The, the ingredients all together make What all's it in it? Awesome. Tell me. Okay. Tuna. <laughs> Noodle, tuna, noodles. Mm-hmm. We, I put some peas in. Mm-hmm. Um, I usually chop up a little bit of onion. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then uh, two that's cans right. of the, hamburger uh, chicken. Well, you need um, a helping hand. Cream of chicken. Mm-hmm. And then I take... Um, Ritz crackers, chop. I mean, uh, right. crush them up, and I put them in butter, and right. and put them over the top, and then I put some cheese over it. So you're trying to tell me you're missing everything else in the ingredients except for the can of tuna? <laughs> Jeez. Yep. Yeah, I didn't well, have nothing. I agree with Ashley. Hamburger, ha- hand, hamburger okay. helper. No, starting right now, helper. WBCW announces that we are starting a, a cooking show, a GoFundMe page for Tammy and oh, Milford. Stop. To raise money and food <laughs> to, so they can be able to eat for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Look. So, and we're, we're raising a GoFundMe page had, for big country yeah. for poor boys. Yeah, so he can get some better equipment to make us richer. I got 20 cans of tuna up in the cupboard. No, we're talking about oh, yeah. your, well, yeah, that's <laughs> your equipment, your applications and your equipment. Right. Okay. We're trying to be famous here. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we're already famous as idiots. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. Speak for yourself. All right, stand by. Here's here's the next song. Here's the other artist that we've added. This is Whisper Whitlock. Um, She is actually from, I want to say she's one of our overseas artists, but I'm not quite sure. But this is called Breaking Hearts and Curfews. Check it out. We'll be back. trouble in my eyes This simple little black dress Bound to cause a big mess Plan to keep it dancing all night Wonder what I'll get in
are back here live with Tammy's Barbie World Show. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Why do you do that? That's just crazy. It's not crazy. It's it is truth. crazy. It's the truth. No, it's not. Next you'll be saying, it's cray cray. No. Mm-hmm. Afraid not. Yeah, buddy. Um, so, uh, let's see. Um, uh, d- yeah. Um, so, hey, uh, Phil, what's been going on with you, man? And, um, um, well, we know Phil's been working, so, uh, I don't know. Think something else to talk about. Chuck, talk I'm about. trying to get Lori Lynn to call. Oh, but, well, uh, come on. She may, she may call. She may not. I don't know. But She uh, may, she may not. But uh, thanks again to uh, girls uh, from Mercy Stone, uh, uh, Corey Jean and Kelsey, um, yes. for talking with us today and uh, tonight. And uh, make sure you go for, for them on the Top 20 Countdown. Make sure you also, everybody goes and votes on the Top 20. If you're in the chat room with us, make sure you click the like button. Uh, go vote for your favorite artist at uh, WBCWRadio.com on the Top 20 Countdown. You got unlimited votes, so... Make sure you go take care of that. So, um, uh, we could always call Ashley and put her on the spot. <laughs> Ashley, call uh, somebody should be here. Yeah, he's about to give up on him. Um, oh, uh, happy birthday to my sister today. She's happy uh, birthday. Yep. To happy birthday to our boy DJ Bridwell. Hey, Bridwell. He's, he turned 34 years old today. Oh, he turned seven? Yeah, right. Oh, okay. Old 34. A whole seven years old. That's right. And he's probably drinking the fireball somewhere. Hold on, liver. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't heard that one in a long time. But um, I don't know. I think he's kind of calmed. I think he's kind of calmed down a little bit now since he's single. But I think sure. that's uh, but that's the isn't that the total opposite? Yeah, you're supposed opposite. to be wild when you're single, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, here on se- September 16th, uh, <laughs> back to back band is going to be here Friday at 9 p.m. Show starts uh, at the Golden Horseshoe. Uh, Where's that at? Where is that at? I couldn't really tell you. I think <laughs> it's it's t- here in Florida? Yes, here in Florida. Oh, it's in Leesburg. Okay, that's not too far from yeah, us. Yeah, here in Leesburg. Uh, it'll be uh, Mr. Chris Allen's band. And then uh, here at a uh, Chuck, Chuck Wagon Dinner. Here also in the Central Florida area, which would be uh, at Apopka Elks Lodge. Uh, Number twenty four twenty two. This also where Rowdy Johnson band is also going to be there, October section second to do uh, a benefit uh, for a concert for, for cancer awareness. So come out and join that event also uh, on October second. I mean seventh. Excuse me. I get kind of mumbled, but yeah, come out and join that event. Uh, October 7th for Benefit of Concert Awareness uh, at the Popka Elks Lodge, uh, no, uh, number 2422. <laughs> so come out and enjoy the, the event there. Also, if you're actually around town, um, uh, I guess it's this weekend, uh, way it looks. Uh, it's uh, Actually, yes, yeah, this weekend, Saturday, Saturday at 6 p.m. So come on down there and, and support the Elks Lodge in the Popka if you're around. Damn, he's going to church. I don't care if she's going to church. <laughs> she better be down praying. She needs to repent. <laughs> repent them sins. <laughs> Do you hear me, Tammy? You better, re- you better be repenting in that church. Okay, and also, too, uh, people down here in Florida, Central Florida area, uh, uh, actually, if you're in Central Florida area, you ought to make the floor grown, uh, a flow grown festival. Also down in this area, too, it's... Uh, it would be uh, Saturday, October 1st at 1 p.m. to 11 p.m. It would be at the Central Florida Air Fairgrounds and Exposition Park. It's uh, 4603 West Colonial Drive, Orlando, Florida. Uh, tickets will, are available. And to go to their website. It's floor, uh, Flow Grow Music Festival. Dot com. That's yeah. That's uh, that's actually Flowgrown is an actual company that uh, 
um, they used to start. They started in the mud trucks. Yeah. And um, yeah, has, yeah, has done a bunch of uh, different uh, events uh, throughout Florida with the uh, uh, the mud holes and whatnot and stuff like that. Yeah. Mud trucks and stuff. But um, uh, let's see what uh, what else we got going on here. Um. They also get your Orlando Beer Festival coming up too. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Uh, Saturday, November twelfth. <laughs> Here's something that Vic posted. It said, "Childhood was awesome in the '70s and '80s before the wimps took over." <laughs> Did you <laughs> repent? Yeah, I seen that one. Tammy had to go. Tammy was at church. I was not doing doing the communion. No, I don't and, think and, so. And, and, you shouldn't and be put, mocking it like And putting that, money either. in the offering plate. <laughs> Whatever. That is not nice to talk like that. What, what do you mean talk about? What are you talking about? Talk about church like that. What? what about people that really go to church? That's not very nice. They don't know what we're talking about. Well, obviously, you're making it sound like... And there ain't too many people that's listening to us that probably <laughs> goes to church either. <laughs> well, and also, And also coming up... Starting September 16th through the October 31st. Universal got Halloween Horror Nights. Are you advertising for all the venues? He is, pretty much. I mean, we need to be getting the venues to sponsor us so that we can advertise for them like that. Those are the. I those work. Are the, I, I'm still in Well, trade. you said you were going to take care of it, uh, those Tammy. Those are the sponsors we need. The ones that you're announcing for free. Those are the ones. That was need. only one time I did that, and you jumped my throat over that. <laughs> Back off. On the 18th, we're going to be talking hush. with. Um, whoop your butt. On oh, the 18th. I <laughs> could be. This Sunday on the show. Thank you very much. We're what about talk, this Sunday on the show? We're going to be talking with Heather and Derek Kreider, uh, two artists out of Nashville. We're going to be talking with them. Hey, why you got to be throwing stuff? Well, yeah. She being mean to me. <laughs> Look at that hole you just put my wall. Oh, what? It's his hat. Don't make them pictures fall down. Well, then I'll really that's get what upset. he did the last time. You knocked down our wall of fame. I'll really get up. He I'll, did I'll, that. Remember? If you knock them down, I will put your picture all over Facebook and tell all the artists, say, hey, hey there, she's the one that did this. <laughs> Jeez and Louise. Let them, and let them call you and gripe at you. Oh, my gosh. I'm just saying. Whatever. Uh, let's see here. I think uh, we need to get the duct tape out. Whatever. Uh, Thursday, uh, Derek Kreider will be at the Dog and Bull uh, Brewing Music House. This is in uh, Croton, Pennsylvania from 8 to 12. Friday night, he'll be uh, at the um, Tombstone Saloon and Grill in Boyna, New Jersey. Uh, from 8.30 till probably 2 a.m. Uh, Saturday, he'll be playing at uh, Keenan's Irish Pub in North Wildwood, New Jersey from 2 to 6 uh, for the uh, Boots and Beach Fest uh, Saturday night. Um, he'll be, let's see, uh, he'll also be at the uh, One More <laughs> Bar and Grill. What? what? That what you just read? Yeah. It is? Yeah. You, that's the one you just got done reading? <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, Ashley just posted. Oh. Oh. The one that Ashley just put. So well, just oh, so you're reading. This is known. What'd she My say? My phone has yet to ring. Quit talking about it. Be be so about it. Phil Quit says talking that. about it. Be yeah. about it. Phil Phil was uh, say empty threat to call you. <laughs> 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 uh, be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. So, hey, Phil, he's calling you. So, empty yes, three. Here. You want to talk some smack? <laughs> I ain't talking smack. Yes, you are. You're talking. You're, 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 you're talking smack. You're, I speak truth on me. I'm talking back. Look at Why is there feedback? Yeah. yeah she's got the 40 second delay. She's got the 40 second delay. Uh -huh. You got the delay this time, girlfriend. You got, a, you got your laptop on? Turn your laptop down. 
<laughs> yeah, that's right, Phil. He's got your number two. You're next. <laughs> no, I don't think I have Phil's number. Oh, well, don't tell him that. Wait. All right, so the feedback's going. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I still hear the feedback because of my laptop. Well, just turn your sound turn your sound down on your you, laptop. Your da- da- you don't need your sound on to be in the chat room, do you? Is that better? Yes. <laughs> yes. Man, that sounds real clear. <laughs> so, uh, Milford's got a bone to pick with you. Go ahead, Milford. What? I ain't me. <laughs> that what was are you stupid. talking about? Milford ain't the one that was threatening to call me. You are. Actually, Tammy's been talking smack about you. Oh, my God. He's blaming it on everybody but him. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I know the truth. I wasn't talking about She knows smack. the truth. Yeah, yeah just, he's digging that hole bigger, ain't he? Uh-huh. <laughs> so, um, what's it like up in Nashville? I know it's a lot better than he thinks. Whatever. What's it like up in Nashville? <laughs> Or just outside of Nashville. You're in the woods, right? Is it just How far outside of Nashville? Of nowhere. You, she's in the middle. I of, am 30 minutes south. 30 minutes she south. She's in the middle of nowhere. On 24? Mm-hmm. On 24? 65. Yeah. No, 65. 65. 65, yeah, I remember that road. Which means it takes her about 30 minutes to get anywhere. Yeah, that's all you right. You must be outside of Prattsville. I always go to Smithville. You've been around there, ain't you? Over oh, Senate Hill Lake? You ain't been outside of Apopka, Florida. What are you talking about? Shut up. I know what I'm <laughs> talking about. So do you know Center Hill Lake over there by Smithville? Ashley? The what? Do you know Center Hill Lake over there in Smithville? It's a big lake. Not really. I don't really get out a lot. Oh. She don't. She's like a hermit crab. Yeah, because that's a big, beautiful lake that a lot of people go and play on all summer long. Hey, Ashley. Hundreds of people. Ashley Milford's going to church. He is obsessed with people going to his bathroom, calling yeah, it he's church. Yeah, hold my hand with me. <laughs> well, hopefully within the next couple of years, I'll be able to get down there. So. Well, that's a switch because in a couple of years, I'm going to be going up there. Yeah, right. He plans <laughs> no, on not. being in Nashville, and you plan <laughs> yes, on being I've already made. I've already made a. Pl- I've already made a plan in 2013. Uh, not 13. Uh, 2020, what did I say, five 21, years. 21, I thought. 21 or 22, something around. Five years, I'm going to be in Nashville for the CMA Fest. Well, she said two. She's going to be here. Oh. You come, you come. I'm saying I'm coming back down there. You to live come. or just to visit? Probably to, well, to, <laughs> depends. If if her mama lets her come home, then she'll be coming to live. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, whatever, Gregory. <laughs> Don't start that. <laughs> you know I'm right. Here, hold on. I got to give you the laugh. <laughs> oh, I love there the laugh. Go. I love it when you do it two times, though, not just once. I can't give you the clap because uh, not yet. You haven't deserved the clap. <laughs> he loves those little buttons. <laughs> but um, so uh, what's uh, what's so interesting? Um, Phil says, "Don't call him. He's had a few." <laughs> <laughs> Phil, that would be the best time to call you. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> That would be great. Of course, Phil don't talk too much. Phil's Phil's the type of guy. I've, I've actually, matter of fact, I've talked to Phil before. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, Phil don't. Uh, Phil's a man of a few words. <laughs> I think he's. A Are you trying to say I talk too much? Do what? Are you trying to say I talk too much? No. We're talking I'm, about I'm, Phil. We're talking about Phil. Yeah. I said Phil is a man of not so many words. <laughs> you, on the other hand, is like a damn motorboat on the lake. Uh, okay. You are. This is. So do just you, remember the words you're speaking right now. Do you yeah, want? Yeah, he to, may have to eat them. Huh? Do you want to tell everybody about your adventures back in the day, or? I didn't have very many adventures back in the day. Or, no, you mean you can't remember many adventures back in the day? <laughs> <laughs> That would be my deal, right there, <laughs> remembering them. Um, yeah, well, you know what? You should come down. With you and Ashley doing a, a New Year's Eve show here with us, we'd have to get two poles in here in the studio. Oh, no. <laughs> Ashley was feeling no pain. Gregory, hush your mouth. Ashley get was him. feeling no pain that night. Ashley was feeling, or not Ashley, but... Uh, Tammy was feeling no pain that night. No, I wasn't. You better have a keg ready and a bottle of Jaeger. That's all I'm saying. That's not enough. That's not enough. 
It's it really ain't for me. Yeah, it's oh, not. Oh, no. <laughs> Trust well, me. we'll get some whiskey. Well, she, you've seen her list. That's her wish list. No. No, that's the list of what I have here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> she, needs to, she needs to get on the moonshine because the, noon, the moonshine will knock her out quicker. Man, that moonshine will tear you up. We got a buddy in Winter Haven. His name is Bus. And he makes what there's a there's a certain alcohol he makes called swamp juice. Oh, I wouldn't take and it. Swamp juice is freaking awesome. Swamp juice is like twenty different alcohols. I don't think I could handle it. But it tastes like Kool Aid. Yeah, yeah, well, I and don't. you drink Dude, about, I, you drink about that much what, right there, yeah. and you're out. <laughs> yeah, I don't need that. I can drink like twenty of them. You can. Oh yeah. Well, you're pretty young then. How old are you? Thirties. I'm twenty eight. Well, yeah. I when I was 28, and, 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 I could and, drink them under the table. No, girl. you couldn't. Oh, I, yes, I, I could. I'd done ripped Ashley's liver out already three years Actually, ago. Actually, I quit so. drinking at 26. Ashley so. ain't got no more liver. <laughs> In the early 20s, I could drink any man under the table. I was like you. I could drink a lot. That's what she says. Yeah. And I would. Girl. I would usually drink all night long until in the morning time. I'm a Barbie girl. I see the sun. I drink morning. until I fall over. I would drink until I was sober, and I get so mad I'd come out from dancing all night, you know, in the club that I would actually come out and it, I would I would be sober, and I'm like, oh man, I got to try this all over again. Because you sweat all the alcohol. Out. I know. I didn't realize that though. Well, then you didn't drink that much. Oh yes, I would drink. That was an after if hours you drink, club. Listen to me. You weigh 90 pounds soaking wet. She just don't know how I was back in the day. You weigh 90 pounds soaking wet, Tammy. Ashley will drink you and then some oh, well, and me. I yeah, don't uh, yeah. doubt that. I'm That's just what I say. About Everybody, me. Yeah, by size, yeah. I don't know about that. That's what I'm I say. Compared to you, two or three drinks that get you sloshed, it takes her a whole keg well, to me get her now, sloshed. it only takes me two or three. But when I was young, is what I'm saying. I used to walk around with pitchers of beer in my hand. Yeah, she's 28. No, she had a pitcher of beer in one hand and a couple of drinks hey, of something else in the other. I've been there. It was a swamp juice most of the time. Thank goodness I don't do that now. <laughs> that's just that's just pure AA right there. AA's, when you're young like AA's that, you calling care. your name. Hey, I went to AA. Alligator Alley is closed, so AA is no longer home. Alligator Alley, smartass. You know what I'm talking about. (laughs) So, um, uh, what else? Now, uh, Roger works for, he works for Ford dealership, right? No. Who does he work for? Samsung. Do what? Roger works for Samsung, right? No, Roger works for GM. GM, that's right. Well, I needed a radiator and stuff. Send it down to me. Yeah, Milford needs a radiator. Can you get him a radiator? A radiator. <laughs> I don't know what they make. I know they make rear suspensions, tires and rims, headliners. Well, I need a three-inch lift kit. I don't remember kit. what else they make. You already got a three-inch lift kit in theirs, in yours. No, I don't. It's, it's already jacked up. Is that does that that's, come that's stock? Body, that's body lift. That's well, I need, stock. I, yeah, oh. that's body, but I need suspension. Oh, so you just did a body lift on it. No, I bought it that way. <laughs> Phil says AA Ann Arbor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Ann Arbor is going to help. Phil's another one that needs to. Do AA? Yeah, yeah Ann AA. Arbor, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's talking about, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Yep. Oh. I think that's where Phil Yeah, he's in Michigan. That's yeah. right. Phil's in Michigan. He's a Michigan boy. You put that together, didn't you, Londy? Yeah. Hey. Your Detroit Lions cheated the other day. Oh. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> Mr. Phil. Yeah, Mr. Phil. So, um, Ashley, uh, tell us uh, what the, what's the exci- most exciting thing to do out there? Oh. Um, Besides. Honestly, you know, like. Nice playing corn probably corn. just hunting and fishing. Hunting and fishing? Hunting season. Yeah. And riding four-wheelers. Yeah, see, that's what you need is a four horses. You need a four wheeler out there. I don't need a four wheeler. I just walk out on my back porch and shoot them. No, you need a four wheeler to ride, buddy. If I had all that acreage like you got up there, and my four wheeler, I'd make sure my four wheeler was running right, and I'd have that, I'd have that sucker going everywhere out there in the woods. Phil could, says Central Michigan cheated. <laughs> 
I'd have I'd have my four wheeler going up and down the Appalachian Trail, cause I'm sure that trail runs real close to y'all's. No, no, cause you're on the west side of Tennessee. South side. I'm in Middle Tennessee. Middle Tennessee. She's just underneath Alabama. I am 27 miles north of the Alabama line, right in the center of Tennessee. You're close to Prattville. Yep. Well, then I no, have you... Ken in Prattville. Now, wait a minute. Hadn't she been saying the last couple of weeks she ain't got no family outside of Papapka? That's what I thought. <laughs> well, well, he is in Prattville, ain't he? <laughs> Yeah, Jeez. they live in Prattville. I t- see, I've been known that. Because you've been telling me, I ain't got no kin folk outside of Papapka, but yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Straight at you. Who else will be talking to? What? Did you it just Ashley, say? Because Ashley's already in Tennessee. Say that again there. He said, "You want me hey, put go, it? You want me go, put it in English terms? Go back and instead of redneck. Episode. Yeah, <laughs> instead of redneck terms, I'll put it in English terms." He said he knew that you already had family in, in Prattville. Prattville. I know. I told you that. I told but you. But you've about been saying the last month or two since I've been asking you. You said no. I ain't got no other family outside of Apopka. I've got family in Kentucky. I told you that. We just been. Well, haven't we been saying that she? Well, she she did you say guys. Sunday. Uh, are not listening uh, very well. Men don't listen to no, men very no. well. Oh my God! I'm gonna. She said. She oh said. God. She said last Sunday or last Wednesday that her mama lives up yeah, there in, in Kentucky. Kentucky. And remember, you kept calling. Yeah, her in Kentucky. Y'all were talking about calling her, and she said she didn't want to call her on the radio. See, okay, forgets. but what other what other state that well, because we asked you something and you said no. You didn't and Ian in Alabama. I said I got uh, one. Relative in, and we y'all were talking didn't... something about having kinfolk all over the place like Milford does, and you said, "Well, I don't me. have them like hit that." I only got, I'm only mentioning a handful of people here. He's mentioning a hundred. That's all right. We'll get the truth out of it. It's going to take a couple of years, but we'll get it off. <laughs> we'll get all the truth out of Tammy. <laughs> Tammy will speak the truth before we're done. I'm telling you. Well, at least I don't have a uh, hundred million cousins everywhere. Hundred <laughs> million cousins. I ain't got a hundred million because I just got a lot of fam- big family. Oh, okay, a hundred million and one. Yeah, I just got a big family. I don't have any of these. Twite, twite, twite. All right, let's take a break real quick. Uh, this is the new one from Sammy called "Strength in Numbers." Hang tight, we'll be right back. <laughs>
WBCW Wednesday night, sitting on a tailgate, hanging with you. And, uh, of course, um, Ashley has been sitting on the phone with us and running our gator. And, and, uh... I have not been running my gator. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> You tell him, girl. Yes, you have. You've been talking just as much as we have. I was asked a question. I answered. Whatever. Okay, so uh, I don't know what uh, you've been up in Nashville, or you've been up in Tennessee now. How long? A couple of years, right? Uh, 2013, I believe, is when I left. Well, and you don't do anything fun up there. What's up? Come on with that. Well, I have kids and a life and school. Oh, I hear that. I hear that. Echo. I hear that. Ten second delay. Turn that off. See, I'm not the only one with the delay. I don't feel bad. Because I set my phone down. Whatever. <laughs> That's that. That was Tammy's excuse. You got to find another one. <laughs> uh, uh. Whatever. 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 That's right. So explain to everybody that's listening in the audience land that uh, what uh, Apple did to you last night <laughs> on the phone. Oh, my gosh. So Apple decided to update everyone's phone to this iOS 10. They pushed the update on everyone. You had no choice. I hit cancel when the terms and agreement popped up, and it automatically shut my phone off and updated it anyway. Um, the lock screen, you can no longer swipe to unlock it. You have to hit the home button twice. If you swipe to the left, it brings up the camera automatically. If you swipe to the right, it brings up your notifications and all your messages. It shows all of your messages on your screen automatically. Who's in it? What was said? Word for word. Um, they changed a lot of the emojis. Like they changed the gun to a freaking water gun, which makes no sense because they left the bomb and swords and the knives, but changed the gun to a water gun. Um, anytime you type a word that is like an emoji it automatically changes it to that emoji instead of the word. So it looks like a freaking animated cartoon text message now. Holy crap. It's just a major pain. I hate it. I hate Apple with a passion. I couldn't, I couldn't figure out how the hell you knew she, you were going when you were walking up. You know, Milford's sitting here talking about you. I ain't talking. He is nothing. not. Do not believe what BC says. He just tries to start trouble every way so, he uh, can. But, um, I know how he no. is. That's why, that's why I believe in Android phones. Android phones are better than I, Apple phones. I'm sorry. He only talks shit about me because he knows that I'm 800 miles away. Because he knows if I was down there, my foot be would be so far. Crap out that of be well, at least remote. somebody would be then. No, nope, she'd have to get over here first. And she ain't had a vehicle for last a couple a couple weeks, so. But now she's got two of them that work, so. Yeah, you better be careful. She might sneak up on you. Yeah. Well, sure. Phil, they are pushing the iOS 10, so get ready. They are pushing it to everyone. Wow. That's just, see? I totally believe that's just another way of the government trying to control everything. Yep. Yeah, sure Five dollars. The government has everything to do with that. I hate Apple. If I could go back to an Android, I would, but I cannot afford one at the moment because my school and my kids are more important than a phone. So, if I had a choice, I would go back to Android. I've got a I hate G3 Apple. and it's so uh, today, yesterday actually, and I'm so happy to have my phone. Phil back. says he likes Apple. I bet you also like the new iPhone 7 too, don't you? Yeah, he likes the damn gun too. Yeah, that don't have no damn plug-in for the headphones. Where you got to spend 200 bucks just to get their wireless headphones for your phone. Well, I hear the people that have Apple that really like them will never go to an Android and vice versa. To each his own, or whatever, folks. As boat. many problems as many problems as Apple has had with their phone 
since I've had my Android, I wouldn't do it. I'd have, I'd have switched over. I never had. I had the Galaxy S3, but I dropped it in the lake. So, so the went, Apple so, iPhone was the only one I had laying around the house extra at the time. So, so, you, so you use your phone as a fish bait. <laughs> yeah. She went fishing. Pretty much. So did you catch anything with your Galaxy S? I am horrible with phones. So am I, like, girl. Like, really, really bad. Milford broke I his. used to leave them in people's cars and oh, have gosh. to wait, like, three weeks to see them at the bar before I would ever get my phone back. <laughs> Milford broke his the other day when he threw it at Tammy. No, I am <laughs> way worse on phones. He's actually good. I'm good on the phones. He cracked his screen. I just looked at it. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be tell, saying things like that if I was you. <laughs> Milford, 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 was standing, Milford was standing across the room. Milford was standing across the room, threw his phone at her, and she took the frying pan to it. Oh, whatever. Shut up. No, that did not What happen. is your deal? Oh, that's right, because Tammy He's don't like making crap cook. up again. Tammy don't like cook. My Bluetooth doesn't want to work when I'm in a bathroom. It doesn't matter what bathroom I'm in. If I walk foot into a bathroom, it shuts off. So really? I don't depend on Bluetooth. I don't either. I have no problem taking my phone to church. Yes, oh, I know. He calls the bathroom a church. I have to watch you brush way, your everybody. teeth every night, remember? Yeah. And hey, watch you brush your teeth every she night. Does. She, she wouldn't. When she's bored, she video chats with me. She says, uh, she, she gets on there and says, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm not doing anything either. So we're just sit there and stare at each other, basically. <laughs> oh, gosh. You want to look, uh, look at that ugly mug over there? Ashley? Hey, I'm the best looking thing since sliced bread. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey, <laughs> what? Oh, look at this blue I said, one. I'm the best looking thing since you sliced bread. Horrors. Yeah, he's about the best looking thing is a horse's ass. Ooh. Hey, if I want any horse from you, I'd call Mr. Ed. <laughs> so, okay, uh, so uh, let's see what else. All right, well, we're going to do this. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna hang up on you and... Uh, We'll uh, do this. Can I don't leave my phone? No. Just because you said that. No. Gregory? The, there ain't no Gregory here. Yes, there he is. Nope. Sorry. Do not make me come down. Thanks for calling WBCW sitting on the tailgate. We got to go. <laughs> yes, you know what song we want to oh, hear. Oh, she hung up on me. <laughs> That's all right. She mad at you now. No, she ain't. Yeah, that was a good one. What did her feel? She ain't mad at me. Now, now, now she'll get the ten-second delay. Yeah. Hang tight. We'll be back in a moment.
WBCW. I just love that song. Tammy, you better get off that wall. <laughs> I feel like I could walk on the wall when I hear that. She's song. like the exorcist when she climbs on the wall. Oh, yeah. When I'm drinking on some moonshine and that playing. Oh, my God. I want to walk on the wall. Whatever. She's bumping and grinding into the wall. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> so it makes you feel like. Yeah, that buddy. So what we got going on in October, Mel? Again? Might as well. October. Here in October in Central Florida area, Rowdy Johnson will be here. In Apopka, Florida, and in Sanford, Florida. In Apopka, there'll be uh, two shows in Apopka. Uh, one October, and on, on October 2nd, uh, 7th, excuse me, again, I'm getting dyslectic. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, October 7th. <laughs> October 7th, uh, Ra- <laughs> Rowdy will be here. Spit it out, Milford. <laughs> I'm trying. I done got drunk or whatever. Are you drinking? No. No. I was going to say. Yeah, I was going to say, never mind. Don't spit it out because you might spit dip all over your laptop. So it's the 7th, 8th, and 9th, right? A Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah. Okay. So (laughs) Friday is the Elks Club. Elks Lodge. Loose Lodge. All right, whatever. So it's, it's uh, the old timers lot. Cancer awareness, and then the next night on a Saturday night is the Bat Ranch, and then the next day Sunday is the Sanford at Woofies. Yeah, but you don't tell the whole event. Okay, well that's what you get to do. Well, she done. Did she done stole the show? Actually. <laughs> She just took my part. I well, guess I'm going to have to go somewhere. It sounded like you was all too tired there. No, October 7th. Here we go. Secondhand drunk <laughs> instead of secondhand driver. <laughs> You're funny, Ashley. <laughs> no, Bill said that. Oh. That was funny. Yeah. But, okay, here we go. October 7th, uh, 8th and 9th. Rowdy Johnson will be here in Central Florida area. October 7th, he'll be here at Apopka Elks Lodge. Uh number 2244 uh show star is a benefit for cancer awareness uh show starts at eight o'clock uh it will be a 50 50 raffle there uh come on in and join in uh and do- make a donation and stuff uh for cancer awareness like for it's all about cancer and stuff uh fight fight against cancer uh benefits so come in and and show your support uh for fighting against cancer also to uh october 8th rowdy will be also doing the second show in apopka at the bat ranch right there off plymouth run road it's northwest corridor of apopka uh i will be also i will be there I'll be there also uh and i'll be opening up for wbcw florida country radio and also opening up for rowdy johnson band and we're, doing, we're going to have a great show that evening. It's Rowdy Johnson Homecoming Bash Party that night. So bring your family, friends, and everybody, anybody else you can think of. It's BYOB. Uh, kids at under 12 are free. It's $10 at door. Gates open at 6 o'clock. So get there early because it might pack out really quick. So if you can't make it those two events, only the 8th, 7th, and 8th, come out here to Sanford, Florida, down here at Lake Monroe, a place called Wolfie's 8th. Show starts about eight, eight, eight thirty somewhere around there. No later than nine o'clock. Uh, Rowdy will be there. I'll be also there, along with Miss Tammy here, or half pint. Well, I was wondering if you're just gonna. Uh, all actually, right. Actually, Tammy will be here at all events. I'm gonna be at all the events, but. All right. Well, listen. Ashley wants me to play this song Forget for her. She wants me to play this song, but I got something better for her. What? Hold on. Please enjoy this Verizon ringback tone while your party is reached. Hello? Good evening. You're on Big Country sitting on a tailgate. Please state your name and who you are with. Hey, this is Daphne. I'm with Marcus on Creek. We got, a, we got we got a fan that really loves the song "Walk Away," and she oh yeah yeah she wanted to hear 
the song, and I said, well, I got something better for you. So I figured, hey, I'll call Daphne. <laughs> <laughs> so yep. you sound like you're tired. Rough weekend? No, actually, the weekend wasn't that bad. It's been the week so far. <laughs> oh. Well, I was going to say, yeah. this is only Wednesday. <laughs> Yeah, it's Wednesday. Actually, today is Jeff and I, um, our anniversary. Oh, that's right. Happy, oh, happy anniversary. anniversary. Happy anniversary. Thank you. So, Thank you, yeah. Yep, yeah, since the last time we talked, I got a sidekick now. This is Milford. Okay. How are you doing? And we got Hi, how are you? Tammy, she's sitting over here. Hi, Daphne. That's, that's five for uh-huh. right now. Yep, we call her, well, her name used to be Half Pint, but now we took a tape measure and measured her. She's five foot something. So she's three quarter pints. Yeah, she's three quarter pints. <laughs> they just like to pick on me. Yeah, we like to Three quarter pints. Yep. Yeah, I just have to to put up with them. So uh, so how's things in Tennessee? I know you guys have been staying busy. You guys have been going crazy. You've been going nuts. Um, yeah, the, we, just, we, just, we just came back from Michigan um, this past weekend. So, and then we're heading to Indiana this weekend. And then next weekend is the CD release party in Winchester. So. All right. That's, yeah, that's the new, uh, what's the name of the album that's coming out? That's got the one with the, uh, oh. It's uh, ga- Game Over. Game Over, yep. yeah. That's right, Game Over. Yep, Game Over. And I promise you, I will have you the music to that when I go to the office tomorrow. Yes, I'm I, being, I know. I'm not pushing. I it, promise, I promise. I, I did not go to the office today. I've, um, I lost a kitten today, so I've been kind of... Oh, what happened? Yeah. I lost mine. Um, really, I don't know. I think the neighbor's dog ate it. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> oh, that's so, fun. That's sad. Yeah, it's been a bad day, so... Oh, my, my came not, the, not the best day. Well, you can always say hunting season is just around the corner, and you can always say, oh, I missed the deer. Sorry about your dog. <laughs> I know, and there are deer that come through my back field back here, so oops, I might just have to miss the deer. <laughs> that's why I, love- I thought that de- uh, dog was the deer. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why. It was dark. That's why I love Daphne. It was Daphne. dark. Daphne is straight to the point, no messing around, straight up Tennessee girl. <laughs> well, I hate to shoot anything unless I just... I would almost have to catch the cat in its mouth. I mean, because I'm, I'm a huge animal lover, but, I mean, I've, I've had three cats come up missing, or three little cats, in about two months. So there's something getting a hold of my cat. You sound like a coyote. <laughs> yeah, it could be. The um, talk, yeah, I put, yeah, it's in broad daylight, though. She came up missing today, yeah, so... I've never seen coyotes run. Day- well, yeah, they they, they really have to be. There ain't nothing. They you can't, there can't be anybody around with coy- for coyotes to come out during the day. Unless yeah, really- I'm I'm thinking I, honestly. I'm thinking neighbor's dog or a hawk or something. You know, that's true because these so have been little. really little cats that have come up missing. Yeah. So it's well, but, that could he be became too. somebody's but, dinner. But well, you want to hear her? Huh? He might have become somebody's dinner. What? Uh, yeah. So, uh, somebody's say, dinner. Say hi to Ashley. She's your big fan. Hi, Ashley. And she she actually she lives in Tennessee. She, and she says she's, she's not listening. far from Winchester. Yeah, she's not oh. far from Winchester. So. Oh, awesome! Well, hopefully, then tell Ashley. Ashley, you need to come out to the Tennessee release party September twenty fourth. Hopefully, we'll get to see you. There you go, Ashley. Um, you got no. There you re- go, Ashley. You, you got no reason to sit at home now and do nothing. Yep, you have a personal invitation from me. Come out and see us. <laughs> yep, she's, yeah, you got no reason no, no. <laughs> for sitting home. Milford just, for some reason, starts singing every now and then. I don't know why, but <laughs> I think it's because... Well, he, we're going to be in Florida in y'all's neck of the woods in October. But every time you come down, I don't ever get to see you. I know, but it, that, yeah, that so is busy. bad. But October, October 12th. September 30th, um, I'll announce that here in a day or so, but October 1st is um, is in Palaka, Jeff's hometown. Yeah. Are you doing anything for Biketoberfest this year? No, actually, we're not going to be in Biketoberfest. We had taken that week off um, because it is fall break for the kids. Right, yeah. Um, so, but I know that we're, we're working on um, bike week, um, which is in March. Yes. So... I'm sure we'll be down there. This is then. How, this is how close Daphne and Jeff was to me last year or this past year for Bike Week. They literally drove right by me where I was DJing and said, "There ain't no place to park the trailer, so we're just going to keep on going." 
Well, hey, but I will tell you, did you not, we, we waved and yelled out the window and screamed at you. And I still don't know what happened to the shirt that you're supposed to have gotten, but, but. I you know, got it. wearing it. I took a picture of it and sent it to you. No, no, no. No, I left a shirt in Florida. We won't name any names with who I left it with. It was supposed mm-hmm. to bring it to you. So but I ended up mailing you one, so. Yeah. Well, well, then I'll have to hunt down the other shirt and find that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if they're listening, they know who I'm talking about. Oh. But, Mm-hmm. Dang it. Whoa. So, yeah, I'd, somebody's wearing a shirt. I'd like Although to, it'd be a little bit big on him. I know. Oh. <laughs> I'd like to get you down there at the Cabbage Patch. I just, Roger's just temperamental about about what kind of music he wants there. I, I think you guys would be a good fit. I mean... Oh, my God. I know that, here's the thing. They go up as like anywhere. I mean, they, they really do. Whether it's a... I mean, they're, you know, it's they're, this is the fifth album, and the catalog is so big. They can do pretty much anything. They can do rock. They can do country. They can do whatever. And, you know, the thing about it is it's, it's bike week down there. Yeah. And they have went over everywhere they've ever played. They've played at Puff 44. They've played at Main Street, you know, and they people love them. So, you know, it's, it's just taking some people getting used to the, quote unquote genre but I try not to stick them in a genre. <laughs> right. So. Well yeah, that's true. What um yep. what's the chances of possibly getting Ashley a shirt? Because now she wants I can do that. She wants my I shirt can do that. on. <laughs> she, yeah, I don't think that's how it fit her. Yeah, no. Yeah, she ain't getting this I can one. I can do that. Um when you um when we hang up you just shoot me an address. Oh well. What um so what have you guys been doing for your anniversary? Just chilling? <sighs> You know, actually, this is so sad. I've been working today. We've been working, then we lost the kitty, and then we just, I I just really didn't feel like going out. So I think we're going to go out maybe tomorrow night and have dinner and watch a movie. So It's been, what, three years or four years? Three years. I can't three years married. It seems like it's been longer than that. Well, yeah, we've been together a lot longer, but it's three years married. You know, we had to postpone our wedding date, like, several times because of our schedule. Right, yeah. <laughs> so. But yeah, three years. He's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. From the Daphne's diaries, I've been seeing it. I kind of wonder how that's possible. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm gonna tell you what. This weekend, it was this past weekend. It was a great cause. It really was. Um, it was a trying, um, trying. How do I say this? Weekend. I mean, the rain and the we got rained out the first night. Um, and, uh, and, yeah, I probably you, you probably could, shouldn't say this, but I'm going to anyway. But we had a temperamental opening band the second night, but oh. it is what it is. Yeah. And you um, guys were just down here in Ormond Beach and didn't even bother calling me. Good. Oh, we were, you know what? Let me tell you something. You were only a half an hour away from me. I didn't leave that condo except to go eat. Oh. As a matter of fact... <laughs> We went out one night with some friends of ours down there to St. Augustine um, and just literally basically did what I guess you would call a pub crawl or whatever. I think we hit like 10 different bars. Right, right. <laughs> um, but, and then, um, but we didn't. We sat there. We, we were on the beach um, in the condo, and we did not leave. We just watched it rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we're getting well. We're getting more rain too coming, and they got more storms that's heading this way too. So we're probably going to get them. Well, we're not yeah. really. I hope that done. those are gone before October. <laughs> well, that is, the one, the one that had been sitting off the coast, just giving us rain. They actually turned it into a tropical storm and named it. It was Ju- yeah, Julie or Julian, and it's going up the coast now. North, South Carolina, South Carolina, and they got one that just there. came off of Africa that's heading this way. So. Yes, Came off of where? Off coast, of Africa. Coast. coast of Africa. That's where they all come from. They get big waves. Oh. Yeah, they get big waves that come off Africa, and then they, they make it's a... over that. Yeah, they make a beeline going west, and that's how they... You, you ought to know better than to ask me where storms come from. When you said they come from Africa, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I forgot. You got one big storm you got to deal with all the time. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know it. Gosh, yes, I sure do. He's like a Tasmanian devil. I know. So, uh, is the old man sleeping? He is not sleeping. He's actually he's laying down, but he's not asleep. He's watching um, the Big Bang Theory, which has quickly become one of his most favorite 
TV show. <laughs> I need to write a song with y'all. I mean, I'm not gonna do I need to do it. Well, yeah. And with Megan, see, I've been trying. I've been trying to get an interview with Megan. But he's busy doing stuff. And uh, I can probably hook that up. I, I, lo- can, I love I Megan to death. She's such a sweetheart, and 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 just, I mean, she's one of them girls that looks like a punk rocker and a biker chick and just a country girl all rolled into one. She, yeah, she. Um, I, I, I love her. I, I kid her all the time. I'm like, okay, what color is your hair going to be this week? <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> But yeah, I, I can I can hook that up. She's actually out in Vegas right now. Um, yeah, she's doing the thing. Doing the yeah, doing the um, I guess not the residency, doing um, shows there. I think maybe till November. I can't remember how long she's gonna be there. But but yeah, she's she. Um, I'm proud of her for that one. But well, we need to get you the. Well, there's a lot of really good songs on this album that you can play on the radio. So we need to. I need to get those to you. Jesus. I really do. Send them over. I play them. You know I'll that. send you. I'll send you a CD so you can have that. Okay. Um, does I the old do man want to holler at me real quick? Sure. Hang on just one second, okay? Okay. All right. Hello. I'm picking FSU to win this weekend by 54 points. <laughs> you lost your damn mind. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? Oh, not a whole lot. Sitting there uh, hanging out. So, uh, Big Bang Theory is your uh, favorite show now, huh? Um, it's yeah, it's 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 amusing to a to an extent, but it's a little <laughs> real, little nerve wracking trying to keep up with all the big words. Right. So, uh, what you been doing with yourself besides playing me? Oh, before we get going, just say something for me. Say hi, Ashley. Say what? Say hi, Ashley. Hey, Ashley. How are you? Okay. She's a big fan of yours. She's in uh, up there in Nashville. She's not too far from you guys, so she's going to try to make your she's show here. She's in Connersville. She's in Connersville. Oh, sweet. Yeah. But, um, sweet. I think that's what she says. Yeah, Connersville or Connersville. She's not too far from you. Yeah, that's not too far. Yeah, but... Uh, I think Connersville. I think it is. I'm not... Connersville. Connersville. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, know where that's at. Yeah, she's just right over to... Alabama line there. So, um, yeah, so uh, I know you're a big Florida State fan, but uh, I figured I'd just call in Cornersville. That's where she's at, Cornersville. Yeah. She oh, okay. She's yes. on the corner. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's on the corner in Cornersville. She's on the corner in Cornersville. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, she's standing on the corner over there. Yeah, that's the worst thing about uh, about the job is that we're always on the road on the weekends, and you, you miss so much football, and – We'll be on the road doing hard today. They got that noon kickoff, which sucks for me. But uh, I, I don't know. I think uh, <laughs> I think Louisville may kill them this weekend. Not, not sure. Uh, well, I don't know. I think if they play their cards right and play, they got to play better than what they did when they opened up with Old Miss. But if they play, yeah, their, yeah. yeah, if they play their cards right, they can beat them. They should have no problem beating them. But yeah, well, it's, it's, a, it's a funny game. We'll we'll see. What do you think? We'll of, what do you sure. think of all this, uh, all this crap going on with uh, what's his name, Kelson, uh, or uh, the quarterback? Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. I call it the NFL. It's called the NFL Flag Gate now. Since we had the Deflate Gate, now I call it the Flag Gate. Uh, personally, I think he's just uh, an attention-seeking jackass. I mean, that's my my personal opinion. Uh, the politically correct stance would be, yes, we do have people that die every day to give them that freedom to to, to make a decision to take a knee. But here's the deal. It's like, you know, the NFL is the National Football League. It's, it's American football. It's the only place on the planet you play this sport. It's Americans. The fan base is 100% just red, white, and blue, tried and true, hard-working, blue-collar people. It always has been. It's a blue-collar game. Uh, I mean, being around it and being in the sport all my life, I mean, the, the national anthem is actually one of the, the coolest and biggest parts of the, the, the game itself. I mean, all sporting events. But, you know, it's just, I understand at any time if somebody wants to protest something or make a make a make a stance towards something to do it, to pick the right stage to do it on. This is just this is absurd. It's gone too far and he's got these other idiots that, that think he's making a stance for the right reasons when he's not. I mean it's 
you know, and, and he's he's done. He's an intelligent guy. I mean, he, you know, was a four point oh kid through high school and college, and you know, he's just one of those type of people that can manipulate himself into a more uh, a more visible stance for people to 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 see him while he's not playing. That's my personal opinion, but. Uh, it, it, all in all, I mean, you you know, you got to respect the flag, the country, while it's here. I mean, I'm a firm believer. If you don't like it here and you want to talk about it, please. I mean, just go. Uh, nobody's stopping you. But uh, I'll take it for it, you. Yeah, I think it's I think it's 110 percent a, a, a publicity stunt that's gotten so blown out of proportion by our media that uh, other people are going to try to capitalize off of it in any way they can. And I mean, you know, the the comments he made about the oppression and this, that, and the other. I mean, he was raised by a wealthy white family. You know, so he's just he's never experienced that in his life. So stop. I mean, I can understand some guys I grew up with and some guys I played ball with that were from the inner city and they've, they've dealt with rough things. Like this guy's had a silver stain in his mouth since the day he was born. So stop. Uh, you know, just stop. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. Uh, I think it's ridiculous. Because uh, now it is. Every, everybody in the NFL is doing, it, doing something. Miami Dolphins did it. I mean, everybody's doing it. And, and, and the thing is, they, they don't know why they're doing it other than a, another star in the league did it. You know, that's what kills. And in the, in the NFL, I'm, I'm really just fed up with them. I mean, they allow them to support certain groups and, and put, put, you know, they're, they're, they've always been known for their strict rules as far as uh, uniform policies. And everything's got to be the same. Well, you know, they wouldn't allow the Dallas Cowboys to to wear the patches that supported the, or you know, supported the the police after the the police officer police officers were ambushed in Dallas, but they allowed other uh, groups to wear some <laughs> some uh, flags and 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 whatnot that supported some radical groups that you know, and just. Yeah. It's not right. I know. It's just it's all it's all a big money game, and it's it sucks. Who are you picking this it, week? Uh, Jacksonville and Tampa. I like Tampa, and I like Jacksonville because uh, Tampa is actually, believe it or not, old Jameson. I, he's been playing pretty good. He is. I think he's going to surprise a lot of people. I mean, he was caught up in a. You got to remember when you're a twenty year old, nineteen year old kid in college, and you've got the, the media the way it is these days, social media. And, Everything he does under a microscope. Granted, he didn't put himself in great positions and situations, but I think that he's uh, he's gone from that, uh, and, and he's had you know proper mentors around him to let him grow and mature. And uh, he's always had the physical tools now, being able to you know focus on the game and, and, and mature as a person a little more. I think he's really going to shock a lot of people. And then again. Yeah, you know, he said Jacksonville. I mean, Blake Bortles is really coming into his own as a quarterback, and he's got uh, Hearns and Robinson, two of the best receivers in the league. And I mean, they yeah. stay healthy. I, I said, uh, I said, I and mean, everybody, said, I mean, I'm a diehard Steelers fan. I always have been, but I said going into this year that uh, it was going to be a young, a young NFL team uh, that was going to shock everybody this year, be it uh, a Jaguars or uh, be it the Jags, the Bucks, or or. or Possibly, well, I guess they're they're old, but possibly Arizona or somebody that nobody's really you know expecting. Uh, just because they haven't been around the past couple of years, but Jameis has come a long ways and he's he's really taking the reins down there. So I don't know if coin flip this weekend. Yeah, I think so too. And Carolina got off to a rough start too. So I was kind of hoping they did. I was kind of hoping they were going to beat Denver, but uh, I don't know. I did too. I did too. But you know, it's uh, it's football, and that's grown man's football. You can never, you can never tell uh, what's going to happen at that level. I mean, you know, it's a lot easier at the, the college level to make some predictions because those kids are there day in, day out to win, and you know, it's just a completely different atmosphere in the NFL where it's so money driven now. Right. Yeah. Well, listen, I'll let you go back to watching TV. I just wanted to holler at you and say happy anniversary. And Mama said you oh, appreciate it. Mama says you guys are going out tomorrow night, so be prepared. I'm just letting you know right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I heard that, too. That was news to me. I'm trying to get by her car tomorrow. She, I, I want to get by her car tomorrow. She won't ever go car shopping with me. Oh, what kind of car are you going to get her? Hell, I, want a, I need a new truck. You can buy me a truck. I, that's what, I don't know. I'm thinking about trading my truck in, too, and, and getting a two for one. But she... uh. 
she, she, I don't know. Every time I pull her car up and show her some, I don't like, I don't know. I gotta go see her. I gotta, I said, I don't know, man. I, you know, I, I want to, I don't know. I just want to put her in something. <laughs> Get her, you go. Then you don't. Yeah, 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 get her, you guys. I get a, get a smart car. A blue Prius, there you go. Get a, get a little smart car, that'd be sweet. <laughs> All right, buddy, well, uh, tell Daphne I'll, I'll I'll talk to her later, and I'll get up with her. Uh, well, please. But, uh, yeah, it's good to talk to you. And, uh, yes, just, sir. She said that you guys might be down this way in October in Palatka, so I'll try to try to get up yeah. there to see yeah. you, if not... Uh, I'll, I'll get up with you sometime. I'm sure you guys come down yep. quite a bit. I'll be down there. Cool, cool. Well, just let us know. I will, man. Hang loose, and uh, again, uh, congratulations on your anniversary, and I hope you yes, guys, sir. I hope you guys got another 50 years to go. <laughs> she she's cooking, cool. You're cooking dinner tomorrow night. <laughs> All right, man. We'll see you. All right, bubba. See you. All right. Bye. Bye. Actually, you owe me one, so just telling you that right now. Here's her song. If I tried to walk away, would you let me? And if I quit it all today, would you respect me? Yeah, I've been going through a couple things. Head spinning on my porch while the birds sing. I try and get into this carefree mindset. Time flies, getting old, but I ain't blind yet. A little life left, and I'ma make the best of it. And here I am, burnt out, now confessing it. Where'd I go wrong? It's not a question at hand. It's where I went right and became a man. Kids looking up to me were grown men crying from the words that I spoken when I wasn't even trying. I wanna walk away, but I don't know if I will let me. And if I walk away, I don't know if I'll respect me. CW Wednesday night sitting on a tailgate hanging with you. We've talked to uh, Mercy Stone tonight and we talked to Ashley. And of course, Ashley got to hear 
her favorite artist, Moccasin Creek. We talked to Jeff and Daphne, and um, we uh, interrupted their their anniversary. Jeff was <laughs> laying on bed, probably sleeping. But uh, congratulations yeah. to them, and happy anniversary to them. Yep. But, uh, Tammy, say something. I'm listening. Everything sounds great. That's all she ever does. What? Listen. Well, you know, you guys no, are No, she busy. don't ever listen about anything. Yakking yeah, about everything, so I'm just hanging in there. Okay, and well, you got it. you got 15 minutes to yak about something. What do you want to yak about? Well, I do not have 15 minutes worth of anything to say. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. She, hey, she became tape woman. What? Tape, tape face woman. What's that? Yeah, what is that? Asian Americans got talent. Tape face. I don't okay. watch that show. I never really liked America's Got Talent. Mine always it's been, okay. Mine's always been The Voice, and I don't even know if I'm going to watch it now because they got Miley and uh, and Alicia well, I, Keys on I, I, I'm going to watch it because a buddy of mine's on there. Who? Sundance Head. Oh. Uh-oh. Milford's got friends. Yeah, I got In friends. In low places. Yep. In a very low, low places. <laughs> <laughs> so which one of yours is my... Do you want me to play? Just for me. Yeah, I know it's just for you. What song do you want me to play? Just for me, just for you. No, it's not for me. It's for you. No, it's for her. For who? Three quarter pie. Just for who? Oh, I that's one of my favorites. I told him. When I thought I maybe first, it was for Ashley. When I listened, well, that, that too. It could be for Ashley too, uh, or Phil maybe. <laughs> why would it not be for me? I don't know. He didn't ever say who it was for. Well, it's anyway. just for me. Okay, so it's he for him. Just for him. <laughs> so, All right, let's play Milford's song here real quick, and we'll be back.
and she's sweet like a melody takes every breath from me she's like a good that I WBCW Wednesday night sitting on a tailgate hanging with you. What do you want? Fries. You want fries with that shake, Phil? <laughs> you want fries with that request? I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Or, or was that a friend's request? <laughs> no, he's requesting fries. <laughs> Ashley, send me friend's request. <laughs> he said, Ashley, send me a fries request. <laughs> Ashley, he wants a fries with that hamburger. Yeah, he wants a hamburger with fries. The bad thing about it, Phil, Ashley don't cook. <laughs> no, no. I, I, no. I take that back. She knows how to make macaroni and cheese. Oh, well, you say that about me, so I can't believe anything you say. I'm telling you. <laughs> she says See, I do cook. she no. does cook. But most of the time when I'm talking to her, she's sticking something in the microwave. Because she's wanting something quick to eat. Well, that too. She says she cooks seven days a week. So she says, well, um, let's see. We got, uh, that's about all the time we got, really. Um, Tammy, you want to say anything else? Nope, it's been fun. I loved all the interviews. They were great. Whatever. I think she just comes to sit in a chair. Stop. Milford, give me 50 bucks and she can take the chair home with her. I don't want you. I don't have 50 bucks. (laughs) I have a very comfortable chair at home. So why don't you bring your chair and I can get rid of this one? Then I wouldn't have mine there. <laughs> that wouldn't make no sense. Sure it would. Don't no. forget. Uh, don't forget. Uh, this coming Sunday, we're going to be doing the top twenty countdown. We'll be on at eight p.m. Eastern time. We're also going to be interviewing Heather and Derek Kreider, uh, artists out of Nashville. We got some of their songs too that uh, we play here on the station. And uh, and uh, who else we got coming up? We got uh, Shelly Kimball next Wednesday, and we also got Steve Hester the following Wednesday, so we got a bunch of interviews. Shucks, I won't be here then with no. Steve Hester. You can, I'm sure you can say everybody now that you're going, right? Uh, you might as well tell everybody. No, he's got a time when he's going to do that. Yeah, no, hey, oh, you got it planned. Yes, I have all a plan. Pl- I, it's a plan it's I a have surprise. to come up. It's going to be a big public announcement. Yeah, and it's a big surprise. Say surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> yep. It ain't no Dixie cup and it ain't no coffee mug and you sure don't want to be drinking out of it. That's oh. right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, uh, all right, well, let's see here. We can end the show if I can get this. Yeah, don't forget uh, about Rod- the Rowdy Johnson Band's going to be here in Central Florida, 7th, 8th, and 9th. If y'all can make it each uh, on uh, one of the nine occasions, uh, come on and do something and help, sh- help support the Rowdy Johnson Band. That's right. We always need a good athletic supporter. Jeez. <laughs> Isn't it? You, you need a new cup. <laughs> Am I right? Heaven forbid. Let me see if I can get, uh, we might not get it. Let me see, I gotta find it. Come on, come on, come on. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Oh, I mean. Um, I'm trying to find it. Oh, I think I passed it. I think he found it. He may got it, Ashley. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? And, and, and Garfield's looking at you. He said, hey, it's All time right. to go. It's time to go. <laughs> I'm gonna find it in time. This thing here, let me tell you. Uh, yeah, you got five, I'm four. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah, Garfield became my buddy too, there, Ashley. Oh, do we have it? Do we have it? Do we have it? Yeah, that's right. We live there, Phil. That's right. We're live, baby. We're live. We live. We got it. Okay. So as we're signing off, 
Come on, load. There we go. As we're signing off, we want to say make sure you join us next week here. Same time, same place, same channel. Bat channel. Yep, bat channel. So as we go, we're going to say bye-bye. So long till next time right here. Sitting on a tailgate. Have a good night. Good night. Good See, night, ya. See ya. See ya. See me and my old lady, we been fighting a bunch And I ain't quite for sure, but I got me a hunch Now I know I've been drinking, but I'm thinking kind of clear This here's the truth, and I ain't leaving this booth Until I tell everybody exactly what she done I done called my boy son, he told him to bring my gun I'm trying to figure out exactly what went wrong I'm working day like the dark to give her a nice home I ain't never been the type to ask for too much Just a meal now and then Sometimes a slow touch Tell me what to do, man, what do you think? I know the waitress and the cook And they don't care if we drink I'm just trying to make sense out of all this shit. Lord, I'm not a violent man But the gun's in my hand Should've stay or should've go Or just let it be Lord, the cheating won't tell me to death of me Meet me at the Waffle House It's going down just found out my old lady's been messing around Meet me at the Waffle House I'm bringing my gun Need someone to talk to before I hurt someone Man, my whole world is upside down I guess I'm about to be the laughing stock of the town I heard from my cousin this a dozen or more And I found the sheriff's badge on the bedroom floor An old boy from church said he saw her with the preacher 40 miles from here At a bar drinking beer She told me that she was having some lunch with her sister I was home cleaning up, wishing I didn't miss her See, love will bring you home, but lies brought me here Heard her in the town judge, been at it for a year I reckon you can't make a whore or a housewife But I damn sure tried, even when she lied Now I'm sitting here staring at this plate of grits Thinking about going to put a bullet in that chick Maybe I should shoot every one of them fellas But come to think of it, son, I really ain't jealous Matter of fact, let me thank y'all for making it clear Help fix me a patty mail, son, and pour me a beer Now I'm scattered, smothered, covered, and happy to be free To hell with cheating women, y'all heard it from me So, meet me at the Waffle House It's going down just found out my old lady's been messing around Meet me at the Waffle House I'm bringing my gun Need someone to talk to before I hurt someone Meet me at the one on 28 My gun's in the closet Shine sitting on the freezer It's gonna eat the pain The next time I see her